All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, today uh, is one of my favorite times of the month. I try to run this at least once a month, but I think it's been a month or two since I've got to run this, unfortunately. Uh, but it is Noons and Masterminds Day with our heroes of Acadia, Arcadia, which is kind of a silver agey romp, uh, more shenanigan filled. Uh, one of the nice things with this one is it's one of my, uh, it, it's a, kind of like, not a campaign, but it's a reoccurring game. Uh, but it's one that I can kind of embrace the shenanigans versus having to keep a campaign tone or keep uh, kind of everything on track. Uh, this is what I can kind of dive in and have some fun too. Uh, so we're going to dive into that. Before we do, I uh, do want to shout out a couple of things or two things today. Uh, first, join us tomorrow for our uh, Against the Horde, Matt Colville's uh, kind of a new leaderboard challenge that he's got open uh, for the D&D &D community, which is really cool because one of the few ways you can do competitive D&D. &D. So we're hoping to get on the leaderboard. We're going to try to go through the waves of orcs from uh, his new Flee the Mortals book. Uh, and hopefully we'll make it to, I think it's eight, it goes, uh, there's eight defined rounds, but it keeps kind of going after that. So hopefully we'll make it to at least round eight uh, and get a, a decent spot on the leaderboard. So stay tuned for that. I am, I've watched a couple of the streams so far, and I've noticed a lot of people forgot the relentless ability with the orcs. I'm going hard at my players, so if they get on there, they're going to earn it. <laughs> there's going to be no asterisks next to us. Uh, and so uh, have fun with that. Uh, the other, oh, actually, I do have three things to promote. Uh, the other thing is uh, Todd Moonbounce. Uh, if you guys are familiar with him, uh, he's my partner with Dungeon Jedi Masters. Uh, he is doing a charity stream for Extra Life this weekend. Uh, whole weekend, he's got like four different games he's doing. Uh, Mouse Ritter, Star Wars 5e, Deadlands, oh, and Mothership. Uh, I'm going to play playing in the Mouse Ritter game. I was like, I've, I've played a lot of Star Wars 5e. I'm like, let's play a different game. Uh, and Mouse Ritter looks pretty cool. For any of the guys that watched our Karim stream, it's like the same system. I didn't realize that. I was like, this would be a whole new system. I'm like, this is very familiar as I'm going through uh, and building my PC. So come through. We've got a great crew for that. It's for a good cause, too. So come, donate, have some fun. Um, we'll be playing Mouse Runner at 2, Star Wars 5 E's on Saturday, 2 at 8. Uh, and the other two are um, on Sunday with 2 at 8 as well. I'm not sure what day is which for the other ones. But go hang out. Go support that. And then finally, last thing I've got before we jump into the game, uh, this month is Blades in the Dark for our crew. So uh, check out my YouTube if you haven't. Uh, we've And I want to give a shout out to, we've seen a lot of growth on the, my personal YouTube too. So I appreciate that. Thank you guys for tuning in and subscribing. Uh, and then check out some of our uh, Blades in the Dark. We've got a lot of Mutants and Masterminds videos on there too, including some of our past sessions with this crew. Uh, man, let's dive into the game. So we are going into Arcadia, a Silver Age city where heroes and villains alike run rampant uh, with the uh, heroes trying to save the day and protect the common man. Um, we've got our own unique of group of heroes trying to fill in there. And while they may not save the day, usually they, they don't do it always in the way you'd expect or probably the easiest way. But they do it in a day filled with shenanigans uh, and a good time along with it. Uh, so we are kind of pulling it. It's Arcadia, a bustling metropolis. Uh, I kind of think uh, big, kind of big city vibes, different kind of areas where uh, commerce goes through. Uh, There's a lot of uh, just people and goods moving through the city. Uh, and on top of that, there's a lot of super powered individuals who call it their home for good or ill. Uh, we're going to kind of go in towards Arcadia, uh, the tower that they've been granted by the mayor as the do we ever come up with a team name for you guys? I don't think we ever came up with a team nope. name for you. <laughs> Axel Headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> we zoned in on that unnamed tower. Like you see, like they've Axel got like, headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they've got like a little like a uh, paint thing there. It's like a blank white canvas. Like, I feel like Axel probably went up there and wrote Axel Headquarters in it uh, in marker, maybe. Uh, but right now, like it's like blank. Uh, and like, uh, with a TBD uh, on that far end of it. Uh, but we pull in there. Uh, it's been pretty quiet the last few weeks. Not as much crime as you'd expect. It's been been a little boring for you guys. What would the what would you guys each be doing so far uh, with this extra free time you've got without any super villain hijinks in the area? Axel. Axel is on the rafters of this <laughs> building with 
blue paint in one hand and a brush in the other. And he is writing his name <laughs> on the building. Um, Mr. Blur is a uh, blur of activity, if you will, between various little stations, various little desks. On one, a house of cards. Another, a boat in a bottle. And lastly, a little bonsai, like a little bonsai tree. And he zooms between each activity, pausing, taking very deliberate steps, and then zooming right over to the next one. In an effort to uh, slow himself down, he's trying to focus on relaxing activities, but he figured he'd just do three at a time because he was kind of bored. <laughs> nice. What's uh, the reanimator up to? Oh, boy. Uh, he's had a string of failed, like, super villain concepts. So right now he's taking a break from that, and he's packing himself a uh, picnic. So a blanket with his face on it, of course, a meatball sub, a potato salad he's been making for about three days now, uh, and a good bit of uh, old coffee. Old coffee? Yep, uh, he he had he made it yesterday. Didn't drink any of it. It was still kind of warm by the morning, so it's like you know what? Let's not waste it. <laughs> it's money is it uh, old I, I, cold coffee no nah, I, I imagine like he made it a bit later into the night and realized i can't drink this but by the time in the morning it was still kind of warm so it just has like a therm thermos of w warm coffee <laughs> okay is it remotely possible that the reanimator has access to such advanced equipment like a uh, a microwave to reheat this coffee? The reanimator still has ice cream from the fifties. I think he likes it old. I think he likes. I I just thought I'd ask. <laughs> old nostalgic things. Hmm. Perfect. Well, as you guys are painting the building, uh, taking pictures and kind of trying to slow yourself down while still having three activities in a blur uh, and drinking some cold coffee and having a nice little picnic by yourself, you guys start to, <laughs> you start to hear a bit, it kind of is quiet at first, but you hear what sounds to be loudspeakers and explosions. Like you hear this, this, obnoxious guitar rift like just kind of playing over loudspeakers like it, it sounds like a home band that thinks they're just awesome like they're going pro like they're going to be popular any day now just with the obnoxious guitar grift uh and you hear these explosions kind of going off at the same time and the interesting thing is and actually you probably get a better view of this with uh being up on the tower you see these are pretty close to your base. Uh, you see kind of around uh, the blocks around you, uh, the kind of the sounds coming off, and you see kind of large flares of flames and explosions kind of licking up through uh, the city streets. So, and I, I suppose I'll fly down and investigate with my investigation check of perception, which um, it's fine. Oh, well, hold on. No, that's all. I'll call out what you roll. So, yeah, you can definitely kind right. of fly down on that side. Oh, Jody, roll. Uh, I hope you'll be right back. Uh, all right. So, you fly down. You see, uh, it's, it's not like they're hiding on that side. You see kind of a group of armed men. Uh, and they kind of all are have like a little speaker system on wagons. Uh, and you see them just kind of chucking uh, these little uh, branded grenades. Uh, do you see they've got BBB on the grenades as they're just chucking them around, uh, almost kind of willy nilly. Like it doesn't seem like they have a purpose. They're kind of just marching down the street, just playing their music. Uh, they're, they're, they're pretty bad music and chucking grenades. And uh, these grenades—they're the uh, the murdery kind of grenades, right? They're not fun grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Uh, doesn't look like anybody's been hurt. They have not thrown them at people. You see citizens kind of running down the street. Uh, it doesn't look like they've thrown them at people, but they're looking, they're doing some, quite a bit of property damage, uh, these thugs. Well, first thing, I would hit my communicator, which for some reason is on my shoulder, <laughs> and say, Axel team, there is need. <laughs> Hunt my this? location. <laughs> Who is the Axel team? Who? Who? Reanimator, you you're number? answering the Axel call. Great. <laughs> Come help. I believe there are many people who need your guidance in crime. <laughs> you know what? My picnic can wait. I'm interested. <laughs> Please tell me where they are. I think I can hear them. Give me a second. And then a window will open and he walks out. The window. <laughs> I thought you. So where was where was Mister Reanimator at? Uh, he was back in a. He was back in the picnic up in the tower. Oh, he was in the tower. Okay, I thought he was out like in the. It makes more sense. I thought he was out in nature for some reason with his picnic. No, no, no. He has a specific place in mind for the picnic, but for now, he walks out the window, just, <laughs> doot, 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 just straight like. What's the word? Cheap animation just rotates image and falls. <laughs> oh, yeah. He doesn't have like a jetpack or anything, does he? Nope. Uh, <laughs> and I'm checking. I also forgot to put in safe fall. So uh, he's falling. <laughs> okay. All right. So as the reanimator dive bombs out of the building, is he uh, He's just straight falling? Is he doing anything to slow it or what's he thinking? Let me ch uh, real fast. I need to open. I need to. I need to open up the mutant to masterminds. I uh, think I'm up to see how long it takes him to revive again. <laughs> Depending on the answer, this can this will be very. Uh... Be a short session, did you say? <laughs> so, so your plan is to walk out the window, fall to your death, and then just get back up yeah. at some point. Okay. Uh, I love this. Immortality Fry. Uh, I, I seem to have misplaced the link I usually use for it. Um, that's why. Well, we'll worry about that piece later. Does he have any gadgets or anything that may slow his fall or give him a shot here? He has, an, he has a ladder. <laughs> Just in his pocket. I'll give you a chance. How would he use the ladder to, to slow or to, to not have himself be reanimated? <laughs> so uh, this ladder, it... it, it it extends up to 250 feet and is the uh, flight platform feature with the uh, limitation of up and down. So he just, just like realizing, oh, that's the ground. He'll just pull out the ladder and just keep pulling it out until it would eventually hit the ground before he does and just start climbing down. What's well, got the flight thing? So, yeah, you, you grab onto your ladder, uh, start, start climbing down as it's, you know, you're thinking you're, you're falling like you're hitting terminal velocity for a minute. Uh, you pull the ladder out and just start slowing down and climb to the bottom. Uh, did you see kind of a Axel gave you his position, and you see explosions coming from that way, but you also see explosions kind of coming from almost all, like, directions around the tower. What's uh, the reanimator doing? Are any of the explosions hitting the tower? None are hitting the tower. It seems like they've uh, almost like uh, and give me actually, give me an, uh, give me an intelligence or investigation. Intelligence. Investigation, I have. Ten. This is a coincidence. I mean, you, you can't see any rhyme or reason here. This is out to do some true villainy. And it, I don't know what we animated thinks about that, but it's a classic villainy form. You can hear, like, the uh, newfangled rock music, right? Oh, yeah. I'm not, no, not actually not newfangled. Uh, this is, like, 80s garage band rock music. Uh, like... Oh, I don't know if that's, that's right. It's still older than probably Newfangled the Reanimator, but old school overall. 
Yes, uh, about twenty years after his time, so <laughs> new to him, and he and he's rubbing his chin. Hmm, I could use them to write me a new theme song. Yes, <laughs> this will be legendary. Uh, and he's gonna call the reanimator mobile and uh, start driving out to uh, where he thinks they are. All right. How's uh, Mr. Blur reacting? Well, um, as Mr. Blur is, uh, by the way, are these speakers loud enough to shake things? Oh, yeah. These are obnoxious speakers. Like, these are the ones that, if you kind of drove up next to in your car, like your car is shaking, your windows are shaking. Okay. Well, as uh, Mr. Blur is cutting his little bonsai tree, trying to trim it to get it to the perfect size. He sees the house of cards out of the corner of his eye start to, you know, with the rhythm of the song, broom, 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 and it comes apart. The uh, boat in a bottle slips off of its little thing and falls down. And the uh, shock of it all makes him grip his hands a little bit too tight. There goes the bonsai tree. Mm. <sighs> I don't even like this song. <laughs> out he goes, throwing the scissors down. Or you know what? Taking them with him. You might need them later. Oh no, running with scissors. <laughs> the super speeds. The super speed. <laughs> well, Mr. Blur's a lot of things, but he's not bright. Listen, it's either dangerous for you or for them. We'll find yeah, out. Right? Well, it's, it's, it's going to be dangerous. Just for who? It remains to be seen. So out he goes, a blinding flash towards the direction of the source of this tiresome noise. Perfect. Well, you hear the noise all around you as you get closer to the tower. Uh, you kind of see these explosions going off at slow speeds uh, as you're super speeding around it. Uh, you hear the music probably probably obnoxiously slow, probably even worse, slow down uh, as you hear just these like repetitive guitar riffs after another. Uh, and you see kind of the same thing. It's, it's surrounding the tower. Uh, is he going to where Reanimator is or Axel is? Or, well, what's, uh, what's Mr. Blair doing? Uh, Mr. Blur grips his scissors tighter and says, do you know anything besides power cords? <laughs> and just uh, uh, starts dashing off towards the source of the sound. All right. And so there's a couple different sources. Uh, now they've, and you kind of hear kind of the same thing with the explosions. They're all kind of almost reverberate, all playing the same song in tune. Uh, but it's like, that same guitar -na 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 -na, kind of around uh, the, the city. Uh, you can't even hear yourself think uh, <laughs> as you go through with it. Well, then the uh, the nearest one will do. All right. Perfect. You guys uh, arrive, uh, reanimator in his mobile, Axel hovering with, with his jetpack, uh, Mr. Blur running with scissors towards uh, the threat. Uh, do you guys see these, these, uh, these guys and uh, they're throwing those grenades with BBB on them. Uh, they've got BBB on their uniform. Uh, and these, on the, actually, I didn't describe what they look like. They are covered head to toe. Uh, it looks like tactical ish gear. Uh, you got, it looks like a camouflage, bulletproof vest. Uh, they're wearing a scarf that kind of covers their face with these thick glasses. Uh, and they're kind of walking stiffly, throwing those grenades. Uh, you see them kind of laugh for a bit. Uh, nod their head to the music and continue going along with their with their business. How? What are you guys thinking? Kill. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think I have one on my character sheet, but I would like to take out an axle bat and start and start knocking those grenades back at them. Nothing can go wrong with this plan. Sure. All right, well, let's roll some initiatives. <laughs> uh, hold on. Don't forget to click your character and give me a minute to get the initiative thing up. Oops. All right. Oh, that's where it is. Yeah. It's Sneaky. been a little it's while. It's been a bit, yeah. Sneaky. Oh, yeah, hero points. I almost forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, you all have one to start with. And you get more as you go through it, too. Hell, yeah. Where are you, initiative? Uh, top right. I can oh, only imagine like some civilian yelling out, 
No play classical gas. <laughs> you do hear kind of a number of civilians before they see the incendiaries that they're throwing out. Uh, you hear them yell, turn that crap down. Try to sleep. Learn some new chords. The what 80s time? are dead. <laughs> Isn't there a is noise ordinance in this city? <laughs> is it like midday or is it going on tonight? Oh, it, it's like, it, it's not like midday, but like kind of like uh, about five or six. So it's like 5 p.m. Uh, oh, so early in the day, kind of in the rush hour traffic period. All right, so you guys see, you each pull up to a different one of the groups, and you see they all have the same configuration. Uh, three of their kind of the 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 BBBs uh, with uh, again, they all carry kind of these assault rifles and have these incendiary grenades, uh, and they're all kind of tugging. They kind of have the same formation with two in front and one behind who has got his rifle shouldered. Uh, seems to be hauling uh, this tactical wagon filled with their speakers uh, as they go blare through the city. Um, when you say hauling, how are they hauling it? Oh, so it's it's, it's a wagon. So they've got a little handle and he's just like pulling this wagon along. Uh, and you see they've got tactical wagon written on the side of it. So Charlie Brown style. Got it. <laughs> My people. <laughs> so uh, Mr. Blur would like to. You see, so it's a giant speaker, essentially cows in this wagon, right? Oh yeah. All right, he is going to want to look for a power cable. All right, give me a. Uh, uh, let's see. Either perception or technology, your choice. Ah, yes, perception because technology is hard. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Either he, he's he's going for. Oh you. yeah. Do you, so you see everything. I am. Time tonight. slows down. You're super speeding right now. You are having a good day, and you're running with your scissors, and you see everything around. Uh, you see these guys are. Uh, and actually, with that, I'll give it to you, too. They're walking stiffly, and you can tell that the way they're walking in almost perfect sync and with a stiffness, and this fly is going to, like, drive me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, man. I, it's, I believe in you. It's been here since work, and I've had work meetings where I can see the fly. And, like it's I've, like, Each time I get the fly swatter, try to get it, it, like, disappears. But... Back to the story. Uh, so you see these guys walking stiffly. And at your super speed and kind of precision, you see them walking. They're not humans. These are robots. Uh, kind of walking through, hauling the shitty music. Uh, and you also see, too, uh, that th yeah, this speaker is like it's it's one of those old school setups. Uh, it's got a little spot, too, where you could easily go in and take out uh, the what's the, the, the triple D, double D or the D batteries that are powering it. <laughs> Well, uh, Mr. Blur, uh, very upset at the tunes that wrecked his uh, recreational activities, is going to do just that. Go around, pull the batteries out, throw them as hard as his very, very fast hands can, and say, cut that racket out! <laughs> and you've got quickness, right? Uh, yes. <clears throat> Sweet, yeah. So quickness for anybody who uh, is not familiar with Mutants and Masterminds, if you've got super speed, take quickness, because uh, it allows you to do free actions super fast. Uh, so you normally that would take like your free action, uh, maybe probably take your action to take out batteries and do something with them. But with quickness, you can go through and take those batteries out and whip them. So uh, give me some super speed fighting uh, with that. You know what? Let's uh, let's make it interesting. I'll throw a battery at him. Sure, that All makes right. boss. All right, so uh, speed fighting, right? Is that where? Yeah. Okay. Actually, you can just uh, do super speed punch too. If it makes it, you just super speed yes, fighting too. Yes, you just instead of throwing a punch, you throw some batteries at him. <laughs> throw... Yeah. Um. Now I just got to remember how to roll on this sheet. Oh, it's uh, okay. So supersonic punch is a DC twenty one. Wait, because they have to roll against it. Oh, so boy, you I roll to see if you hit, and then they roll to see if they take damage. It has been a bit. Okay, it's been a bit. It's been like two months, I think, or two or three. Yeah. 
21-21. All right. And what are these guys' AC? Or not the AC. Uh, yeah, it's been a bit for me, too. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so this would be a range. So this would be their dodge plus 10. Uh, yes, yeah, so they've got 20 dodge, so you hit them. Uh, so they need to make a toughness check. Uh, uh, melee is... Par- he, no, way, he's throwing that. He's throwing them, yeah. He's yeah, yeah. Th- oh, unfortunately, uh, you see this... Battery just clink off the robot's head and fall, uh, and you hear them go, "That was not righteous." <laughs> <laughs> well, um, damn. All right. Any, uh, I, else that's, you can... kind of, I think that's kind of it, right? Yeah, because I... uh, well, you could extra effort if you wanted to, but you take. Um... A level or their version of exhaustion for doing one, uh, or you could hero point it and go again, or your choice, whatever you want to do there. Nah, it's all right. The, the battery is more of a statement than a, <laughs> than a than harm, but sure. You put them on notice. Yeah, I don't like this. There you go. There. All right, reanimator, as you're rolled up in the reanimator mobile, uh, you see uh, your three turn around uh, and go. Poser and coming. Uh, and they uh, pull out. Uh, well, two of them, uh, the one that was pulling the wagon drops the wa- wagon. Uh, and he pulls out uh, his uh, this little assault rifle uh, with armor piercing rounds. Uh, do you see him kind of pull it up? I uh, go, target acquired. Uh, and the all three are going to take a shot. I can guarantee you they will hit. They will hit? What's, oh, what's the reanimator with real toughness? I forgot. It's real tough, but it's easy to hit, right? Yes. Okay. It is It is tough. It's strong, but it, it <clears throat> you need a four to hit it. it. It is a four or higher to hit. Oh, four or higher. Oh, don't forget to even plus ten or is it minus? It is minus defense. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so uh, all three will hit. Uh, you have oh, wait, three. No, uh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. Uh, with plus 10. Uh, that 14? Be... No, no, that is a four. Okay. <laughs> well, I think it has like an ungodly amount of toughness. Uh, so you've got three checks. DC is 24. To be on the toughness, as you guys you see these guys lighting. It. No! Oh, that is rough. Uh, it's plus sixteen. I did not expect you to fail those. To be honest, <laughs> yeah. So oh, you take. Uh, so that's twenty. Oh, so one of those fails by two. Uh, yeah. So the reanimator reveal. You see them pulling out these armor-piercing rounds uh, and just bombarding. You hear the clank, the clank uh, of bullets popping off against the uh, the vehicle. And let me see with it. Because I forgot what this. It's been a bit for me too. So failure by two degrees. The reanimator mobile is dazed until the end of your next turn. It's got a minus one. Oh, and it's got a minus three. Circumstance penalty to toughness to avoid future hits. So if you put three hits in the reanimator mobile, it will. My oh yes, yeah, you're down the. Oh no, your toughness. Yes, yeah, so your hit to stay the same would be your toughness. It's brought down by three. So if you had a thirteen plus, you roll. Uh, as they just bombard the reanimator mobile with armor piercing rounds. Uh, dang. Uh, and you're uh, up though. Much, how much is the speed reduced by? Oh, your speed shouldn't be reduced. Or what's actually let me look up days real quick. Uh, and that's uh, days may only take a single action uh, from the reanimated mobile. Okay. Yeah, so you couldn't do like extra effort or anything with that with this one. Uh, so you just be able to get your whatever you're doing with the reanimated mobile in. So as he's pulling up, uh, he was not expecting this either. And this is the first <laughs> time uh, that the reanimated movie was getting really hurt, except one other time. So he's quite surprised, but he hears them call him Poser. 
and <laughs> he starts to like uh he's very flabbergasted just like po poser you po poser <laughs> and he gets increasingly mad and he will pull down a like almost like an addict thing uh one of those cords uh and he'll flop a keyboard onto him i'd like to spend a hero point for an for a great entrance all right yeah well what do you think yes but hero point what are you thinking uh he's pulling a couple levers pushing a couple buttons he is adding a and loudener to the normal like uh speaker he has on the top of the this once ice cream <laughs> vehicle i forget what it's called Ice cream truck, that's right. Uh, which is just three microphones taped together, uh, overlapping <laughs> each other. Uh, and he is getting out his old, uh, I, I call it a keyboard, but it's more like a piano with a bunch of electronics hooked up into it, like uh, vacuum tubes and old pilot lights. And he's going to be playing the Tesla coil through it uh, to make his entrance uh, with uh, and uh, playing his theme. All right. Uh, yeah. So Hero Point will do all of that. And let's see what a good check would be to go along with that. So I'll give you your choice. Technology, vehicles, or intimidation. Uh, well, my technology is better. And so is my vehicles. This is in its purest form an intimidation. All right. 19. Uh, you see one of them, uh, one of the three kind of look goes, no poser, no poser. And it got the robot, like you start to hear fear in the robot's voice. Uh, he kind of starts <laughs> to inch away a bit. <laughs> uh, and now with uh, my main action, I'm going for, since I'm since the, the animator is playing the Tesla coil, only fitting for the Tesla coil being the one to uh, strike out here. So let me take a double check at what it does. It's been a bit. So, Gatling Tesla coil, multi-hit accuracy. Oh my god. So yeah, it's uh, it's got multi hits. So, oh, okay. uh, yeah. Uh, how many are there? There's three of them. Uh, uh, so I will take a minus three, but that will allow me to make a hit against each of them. Nice. All right. So one, two, three. Uh, uh the minus three is not already on there. So fifteen, twenty-six, and a natural one. A natural one. Oh yeah, natural yeah. one. Yeah. All right, so unfortunately, the two will miss. One will definitely connect. Uh, and uh, how do you actually? Yeah, you don't. You you don't know this guy's a robot. How do you take this guy down? How do you? <laughs> so he doesn't know it's a robot. But what he's doing, it, he's not going lethally because he wants to eventually hire these guys because he thinks these <laughs> are the ones making the music. He doesn't know yet. So this right here. Uh, the reanimator is a little bit mental, so he basically <laughs> lobotomizes the man. Oh yeah! So, and how does that Tesla coil look? How does that non-lethally lobotomize that... <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, still alive. Just a, just a friendly little brain poke. No big deal. Just kind of like yeah. a bolt of electricity, kind of going through with the the beat. Uh, he has or... a Tesla coil that has a lot of uh, like. Uh, that's just spinning. You know that those Tesla balls? That's spinning, but there's a couple broken holes in it and lightning going everywhere. And he's just arcing that forward and gets one just right in the forehead. You see it kind of hit right in the forehead. Uh, and you see it kind of spark and start to fall. Uh, but the, the weird thing is after even the lightning bolt leaves, you see a lot of sparks running through it uh, and smoke kind of erupting from its head and body as it crashes to the ground. Oh, that is strange. Perhaps more robots are getting into the game. I shall have to broaden my horizons with them if they're becoming self-aware AI and making music too. All right, Axel, you are up. Uh, you got your uh, what is that? The Axel bat. The Axel. I've I've got I I had the Axel bat out, but then then I saw how I. I I really did not like the things that they're doing. 
the, the, the throwing of the grenades and the disrespect of the batteries. So, uh, Axel will instead aim his Axel Buster at the nearest villain and say, That is not the spirit of the radio. And fire at him. <laughs> All right. Uh, you... Pew, pew. That did, did, that doesn't look great. It's not great. Uh, you got you each have a hero point so far. Or uh, reanimator used his for his epic entrance, uh, but the other two of you guys have a hero point, and I think that has a plus ten to. Attack He's inviting roll. you to I make can't... it a bigger roll. <laughs> like, please. I, by the I way, do you that. know how hero points work? If it's below ten. You add ten. Okay. Uh, I just want to save my hero point for something really stupid, and this doesn't feel like that. That's it. Fair enough. Well, we gotta crank up the dumb just a little bit. <laughs> I, I'm right. trying, man. <laughs> Opportunities will come. I believe it. Um, I, I, something I forgot to do, but I was looking at. I'm looking at the uh, those big speakers in the wagons, and I'm asking myself. Does there look like there's any kind of a weak point there or anything that might, if I shot it, make the whole thing explode or overload? Maybe a red barrel? No red barrel, but if you, you I mean, your buster is like made to go up against supervillains. If you take a shot at like this old 80s stereo, it's, it's, it's done for. Oh, I, th I think I'm out of actions, but. Uh, uh, you could extra start. effort if you really wanted to. You know, I, I might as well extra effort. Let's do that. Extra effort. I'm going to shoot the uh, the thing that fails to make the spirit of the radio <laughs> with my axle buster. Maximum effort. Perfect. It can't make that save. Uh, so you, how does it go up? Uh, how does that explosion look? It looks like fireworks, <laughs> but non-lethal fireworks. So it's just it, it just really... Descriptions. I'm not doing that well, but it's it's, it's explosive. Hey, you see those explosive fireworks go off. Uh, you see the three BBB robots look at each other and they go, "The man blew up our music. Down with the man." Uh, and, oh, and nice. They're up too. So your guys are up. Uh, sweet. So uh, you see they turn. Uh, they're uh, they're kind of the rifles towards you. Uh, two of them uh, just kind of let it off full auto uh, with uh, their kind of their rounds. They're not using their armor piercers. They're just blasting away. Uh, and the other one hits out like I've seen clicking uh, a different round. Uh, it hits you with that armor piercer. Uh, so let's see how they do. Salt armor. So the armor would definitely miss. What is your dodge plus ten? Uh, twenty-five. Oh yeah, you're good. You see bullets just zipping around you. Uh, but that you got your jetpack on. You're too fast for these goons. I fly by night. <laughs> <laughs> it, Mr. Blair, as you see one of the robots still smarting from the battery you threw at its head, uh, you, you see him go, does not compute. Our music was righteous. Take him down. Uh, and they are going to unleash on you with uh, their salt. Uh, actually, all three are going to go salt for you. I know you have some unholy dodge. What's your dodge? It's uh, 26 in total. Oh, so they actually one got through. All right, uh, make a toughness check. Uh, I don't even think I can. Let's see. It's 19 for this one. How, do, how about <laughs> them? How about those hero points? I think there's something. It's, unfortunately, it's been a bit. <laughs> let me look at what the hero points can do for toughness. I think it do something, I'm pretty sure. I believe uh, it's just straight up a reroll. Uh, oh yeah, improved roll is the same across the board. Did you roll below a ten? Yes. You can add ten to the result. I don't think that is enough. 
So my hero point will be saved for something <laughs> stupid. As is the procedure. Uh, yep. So uh, that's fail by two. So, yeah, so you take uh, a minus one circumstance penalty. And you see some of these bullets. You're moving super speed, but a couple of them, they just flood the street with assault bullet, or rifle bullets. And a couple graze you, and you are dazed until the end of your next turn. Oh, no. Uh, and fresh, I'll pull that up for both you and Berg because you guys are both days. I think it does something with your speed. Oh, no, you can only do one action per turn. Uh, so you could extra effort if you wanted to. Uh, but as we get to the next initiative round, did you guys hear, uh, you see kind of, you start to hear the explosions slow down. There's just one kind of area where you still see some of those incendiaries exploding, but you see. A whiz overhead, uh, and you see kind of this green and blue blur kind of flying above you, heading towards the center of town, and you start to see explosions around the center of town. But you guys are up. Um, That's not good. No, but there's three of these guys. I'm going to go over there and give him a nice supersonic, nah, not a punch, the whirlwind attack. Oh, yeah. It's, a, it's an AoE, attacks uh, striking at will against multiple opponents. Yeah, uh, looks down at his wounds and says, oh, yeah? Right? What is that? What do I get? The Oh, boy. That's oh, AoEs good. don't, so uh, it, there's no... The, Annoying thing with the roll twenty system for it is if you click AOE, it still rolls for you. AOE, you don't roll though. Uh, they make it it's a just... dodge attack. Well, let's see. Because uh, they dodge to see first if they can mitigate it. So if they succeed in their dodge check on the sixteen, they'll cut it in half, but they still need to make a toughness check. Uh, so these three will dodge failure failure. Yeah. Oh, that is not a failure. <laughs> <laughs> so two fails and one succeeds. So now they make a toughness checks. Uh, so this guy is making to get your pool 16. Failure. Failure. Uh, so how do you end two of them? Um, well, I uh, decide to save the, the blasted battery bastard for last. Um, I'm going to go ahead and is that a lister blur runs up to him super speed hits him regrets it immediately ouch out go um sees the other one sees a rock on the floor picks it up hits him with the rock instead that still really hurts ouch 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 and he goes to hit the third one but realizes uh this he doesn't really want to hurt his hand so he holds back on the last one a little bit and that's why it misses but the other two kind of go down or a shower of sparks nice. a uh, pile of metal you see a pile of metal left. Surprise, the scissors didn't come into play, uh, but oh, they are. They will. <laughs> You're down to one robot left. Uh, and the reanimators gang is up next. Uh, oh, yeah. So you, reanimator? Oh, you're actually right up next, too. So you see these guys. Uh, after you see those big explosions in the center of town go off, you see them freeze up, uh, begin to shake, uh, and start to glow a little bit. Are they about to explode? Uh, actually, he's, yeah, he's the animators. We've well, got like what a twelve in technology. Uh, I have a fourteen. No, a twelve in engineering. Oh yeah, so I will. You no roll for this. Yeah, they You recognize from your days of villainy, these guys are about to explode. Hmm. It's about to be a pretty yeah. decent sized explosion too. Would it hit the tower? Not the tower, but it will take a decent bit of the city block. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> not the tower, not my problem. <laughs> On one end. Not the tower, not my problem, just like you said. But on the other <laughs> end, this would lessen the property value of the tower by proxy. Oh, by far. By far. By far. <laughs> Temporarily. 
temper. Well, actually, you know what? They this right here works perfectly. He was planning to install a mode anyways. <laughs> Nothing like a catastrophe to speed up gentrification. Yes, yes. a place to put the piranhas and the uh, laser sparks. All right. So what's uh, what's the reanimator doing? Watching the fireworks. Puts the reanimator in reverse. Just <laughs> like. Uh, Takes out the fancy new uh, recorder thing, just like a tripod camera, and just goes to watch. Kind of right. calls on, kind of calls on the radio, just like, "Wow, I have not, I have not had this much fun uh, fighting a sand-based uh, rival villain since the radio radar, and now a moat too. Oh, today's getting better and better." <laughs> <laughs> well, the reanimator mobile zooms back and gets it on camera. Axel, you are up. I shall uh, fire at the end one of the remaining targets with my Axel Buster again. All right. I have I added the exhausted condition, so I'm I, I'm hoping that kicks in with my roll. There right. we go. Those are numbers. Yeah. And numbers. then, oh, they can't even make it. Yeah. So, take. How do you end the one you hit? I say that one. This this shot will be closer to the heart. And and uh, just just shoot him straight through the center. You blow through. Uh, I don't. I don't know if he knew it was robots or not. You blow through uh, the heart, and rather than see blood come out, you see oil, machinery, uh, and bits and pieces uh, of robotics uh, going to spill out as he goes and falls to the ground. And he goes, "Not righteous." I, I disagree. <laughs> that was that was absolutely in the limelight. <laughs> I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. I'm just waiting for you to throw in, uh, and you gave Love a bad name in there somehow. I know, I'm sticking to Rush. I'm I'm sticking to Rush right now. <laughs> hey, uh, anything else you'd like to do? Well, I think since I'm exhausted, I can only take the one action, right? Uh, you could, well, you could extra effort again, but it modifies you up higher. I think I'm gonna stick with my uh, with my with my lyric and my shot. I think that's that's a fine that's a fine round. All right, uh, Mr. Blur and uh, uh, Axel, you guys see your robots do the same thing. Uh, I think I said blue and green. I forgot what color scheme I made for this guy. Uh, you saw yellow or white and gold fly above you guys overhead. Uh, but you guys see these things start to, uh, to shimmer and shake. Uh, and for those of you guys not without that technological background, I'm probably not exactly sure what's about to happen. Uh, but it's it's going to get gnarly. Uh, oh, and actually you guys don't get to go again. Uh, so you guys see your people shimmer and shake, and you see explosions blossom out from them. Uh, so... Mr. Blur, Axel, make a dodge check for me. Uh, the reanimator, you pulled back enough uh, with your turn to get out of range. I'm nice. Just going to throw that out there. Does that kick in in the slightest teensiest, weensiest? Yeah, oh, yeah, this definitely counts. Okie dokie. You have a uh, evasion one or two? Uh, one for now. Okay. <laughs> please, power level 12, please. <laughs> you all completely like. Actually, how do you guys avoid the danger? I'll leave it to you guys. Describe how you guys get out of there, but you completely avoid any damage from these explosions. Well, uh, Mr. Blur, with his super heightened perception of time and things, sees the sees them start to like get a, like a little warm and start to change color and get like you know start to ex essentially expand and explode and it's essentially a big old uh-oh and just boom hightails it out of there 
a good like hundred feet back, turns around, sees the explosion, goes, oof. Nice. Uh, <laughs> and as you guys hear see them explode, right before they explode, they yell out, totally righteous for the ballist or the belligerent ballistic bombers. Uh, as they all detonate simultaneously. Uh, and actually, oh, actual, Axel, how are you getting out of the way? Oh, I just turn around. I just turn around and and allow the explosion to happen behind me <laughs> in a very picturesque thing. And I like, I pull out my phone and I take a selfie. <laughs> uh, you move out of the way enough not to get in that explosion, get that <laughs> selfie going uh, with your phone. Uh, and you are clear. Uh, do you guys see all this going down? Uh, Mr. Blur, your explosion was the least of them. Uh, you got rid of two of them, and you see just kind of a, a decent-sized explosion. And you kind of behind, you see fires and city blocks damaged. Luckily, it looks like all these areas have not been populated. Nobody's dead from this explosion, but a lot of property damage, a lot of fires, a lot of uh, definitely going to be a wreck of an area for the city for some time. Uh, the reanimator and axle, uh, yours are a bit more intense. Uh, it looks like they take a groove out of the like just like a chunk out of the block uh, with their explosions. Uh, but same thing, nobody looks to be hurt. Uh, you're not sure if like these areas were evacuated, if they were picked because there weren't people in them or what. But nobody died, which people probably should have died uh, from this uh, this type of attack. Uh, no one ever dies from villainy. <laughs> Uh, but the enemy is going to call up uh, Blur and Max will just say, like, Guess what? I have a bit of surprise. We have a new moat. <laughs> a, a moat? I'll get my minions and pour, pour in the water right away as we investigate what's happening in the center of town. Ooh, seeing new budding villains fills my heart with electric joy. Whoa, whoa. Uh, It'll be yes. a caravan. Hold on. Wait, wait. Fill in the moat. Like, from, from our water? Like, do we pay for that? That's a lot of water. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry. I can cover it. I'll just rob another bank. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Is that like a like a funny way of saying make some interesting investments and move some money around? No. <laughs> okay. Just want to make sure we're on the same page. Also, uh, cool. Yay, emotes. Makes me miss my boat in a bottle. Oh, bottle. <laughs> cool. uh, I can put many boats in a bottle in the moat and make them explode. Oh, that's that's not the that's not the reason why you put a boat in the bottle. It's more of a like like a piece you put it up in a mantle, maybe in a like somewhere nice, somewhere that's uh you know resistant to shaking and shuddering and falling over and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, so boat with a moat. Oh, like okay, the great. Battle bottle brothers. They put people into into bottles and then blew them up. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> hey, Axel, did you have to deal with the uh, belligerent ballistic bombers? Or was it the ballistic yes. belligerent bombers? Oh, belligerent yeah, ballistic terrible. bombers, yeah. Bellig <laughs> ah, wow, that's right, belligerent <laughs> ballistic bombers. Okay, ooh, God, ooh, can't believe it. Got it right. First try. Hey, yeah, all right. You, you got the pets. I Pet shot the pestilence posse right, too. <laughs> and I made it up and still had to think about it. I still had <laughs> Belligerent ballistic bombers. All right. I love tongue twisters. Well, uh, so, do you guys did you guys see like a big thing overhead, big uh, big streak of light going towards the center of the city? Wait, I I feel like we should investigate that. Yeah, well, I mean, nothing the better to do now that my boat's gone and my uh, <laughs> tree's cut in half and my house of cards has come tumbling down. Is that the metaphor? No, it's like quite literally. <sighs> yeah, I was trying. To, you know, I've been trying to like like pick up like uh, different hobbies to kind of pace myself, make myself slow down, make myself you know take a more be more centered, be more in the moment. And I can't just say you know. Well, so I started doing three. Th Either way, they're all dead. Anyway, uh, let's go get that oh, thing in the center of the city. Speak, speaking of that, I'm I'm going on a picnic later today. If you want to slow down and join me, you're free to join. Uh, can I, I have up? painting to do, but thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, and the Rianne is going to hop out of the Rianne mobile, send it back, and he's going to travel on foot to the center of town. All right. Uh, Mr. Blur, I'm going to throw you a hero point. I love the the, the super speed uh, recounting <laughs> of his day there. Uh, 
as you guys proceed closer into town, I imagine you all group up. Uh, as you guys go through a kind of like the tower district, it's it's in rough shape. You got a moat now. Uh, don't know how much the other citizens appreciate your moat, but you can fill it in. You've got a moat. Uh, there's definitely significant property damage, burns all around. As you close to city center, you don't really see much damage. And above head, you see that like white and gold streak. Uh, and come around like he's flying super fast. Uh, and you see kind of a tunnel of fire uh, almost around, uh, kind of in between his streaks in the air. Uh, you see it kind of billowing upward uh, as you guys kind of make your initial approach towards the city center. Is this guy making a tornado? It sounds like a tornado. Looks like a tornado. Probably is a tornado. Do you think it's a tornado? They are animators. Is that a tornado to you? <laughs> It, it looks like a tornado, but now I'm confused. The belligerent ballistic... Uh, uh, Bombers. Bombers. Bombers, yes. Uh, yep, it yep, it yep. confuses me. First there was the music, then the explosions, now a tornado. I think they're a bit confused. <laughs> confused, or with a mystery for us to unravel one step at a time, one clue at a time. Let's find out. Once, Let's take steps. Please, let's keep going. Oh my god, I can't sit still. <laughs> Forward! Yes, yes, or backward, or anyway, but not just not standing still. Please, okay, let's go. Forward! As you guys rush in, you see that kind of fiery tornado, and it kind of continues to billow up and up and up and away from the city. And as you get to the city center, it looks like there's definitely some scars from the incendiaries, but it looks a lot better than the Tower District. Uh, and you guys see kind of next to the city center, the uh, the governmental office, the mayor's office, untouched, and you see a number of kind of broken bodies of those BBB gang kind of scattered around with the robots. And you see next to the mayor, heroic posing, this man in white and gold costume. He's got a long flowing cape and the scales of justice on his uniform. Uh, and he is just cheesing next to the mayor. Uh, do you hear him call out, of course, citizens, it was my pleasure. Of course, General Justice could not let this stand. I came to save the day, and that I did for you, because you are the name. true heroes. He has a great name, General Justice. It's not even a proper alliteration. It starts with a G, and then goes with a J? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> no, oh, it's Justice in general. A hero, a real hero, a superhero in our town. I sense a no nemesis. <laughs> Wait, okay, I mean, but Rihanna, they, they gave us a tower. Like, the mayor just said, hey, here's a key. Like, did we get the key to the city once? He did. <laughs> we did? What did we do with that? What what, what did you guys what did do, we do with that? that? What did you... Isn't it a closet somewhere? But we literally have the key to the city. Like, we're we're, we're kind of heroes. Kind of, sort of. Kind of, definitely. Like, <laughs> more than that guy, though. trying to figure out a way of turning it into a gun. To shoot like <laughs> Somewhere in a workshop, with, like in a vice, and like a in it. Uh, it's the key to the city. Yes, uh, it will be the key to its destruction. Or yeah. I just made a whiteboard with like a whole bunch of like different like formulas <laughs> and possibilities and pictures behind it too. Just, the, just on there, Kingdom Hearts question. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the Japanese game designers were onto some. Take <laughs> oh. a hero point for that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you guys see as you approach, this guy is cheesing, talking to the reporters. He's got the, the mayor standing beside him. And you see the mayor look in a way that you've only seen him look once before. Right? Uh, actually, probably the reanimators only seen him look once before. He looks happy. And you always saw him this after you guys saved the city uh, from the gravity villain. Uh, when you actually, where you got the key to the city. Uh, he looks happy. He's like, he's got his arm Not on uh, the uh, ca or General Justice's shoulder. Uh, and he is just smiling. He goes, you saw our real hero. Uh, we appreciate you come through for Arcadia. The nerve of this guy. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, I'm calling it up. Hold on. I'm gonna immediately spend that hero point. <laughs> he he's immediately like uh like just 
clunk 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 running around the corner setting up his entrance uh mega mind style the pyrotechnics like like a full on laser show uh and you'll have that go off at and he'll manically laugh as he's silhouetted by smoke and then step out of it. I am the reanimator, villain of this city. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll let you pick your your role with this. Are you going intimidation, uh, persuasion, or what, what are you uh, looking to accomplish with this one? He is making an entrance. I'll go with another intimidation. All right. Um, He's going to try and seal this guy's thunder a bit. <laughs> no! I don't have another hero point to add to him. You, you see, the, the pyrotechnics display looks awesome. As you step out, though, uh, you see uh, General Justice kind of clap and goes, yes, th these are other heroes in the city, and you can never have too many heroes. What? I want to be a hero that comes through every time without robbing banks, capturing the mayor, exploding half your city. I'm the hero you need, the hero of today and tomorrow. Sir, so, 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 you, you, you're quite incorrect. I'm the reanimator, villain. I turned the homeless into my minions. I've captured the mayor, even gone go-karting with him <laughs> in an obstacle course of doom. You see the mayor. I had a speaking appearance that day. I lost a lot of donors. <laughs> I, lost... <laughs> I gained a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> you see the mayor kind of just shake his head and then, like, for a minute, like, you see, like, his face falls as he sees reanimated the rest kind of fall in. But you see him put his pot, like, he had a real smile on when you first saw him. He goes from no, uh, re real smile to no smile to politician smile. Uh, and he kind of starts to pat uh, General Justice on the back, goes, See, citizens, this is a real hero, one that does not kidnap the mayor, the one that does not rob banks. And one that we don't have a whole insurance plan for, for their collateral damage. Thank you, yeah. General Justice. <laughs> do you have any idea what we do in this city for the many, many contractors? Huh? You thought of the construction crews that we help keep in business? <laughs> we care about the blue collar workers. <laughs> I have a free, I have free health care for my minions. They need it. See? Blur, Blur, you tell them I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a villain. I'm a good villain. Yeah, he's uh, he see. pays his he pays his minions very well. They uh, have healthy tasks. Have uh, you know, he gives uh, he gives them uh, pregnant you know pregnancy leave and uh, like yeah, very 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 nice, very very good stuff. Um, have you started? How much how much do you donate a year exactly? Oh, uh, about. Uh, uh, let's see, two, two point three million. You see, because he <laughs> thinks that money's the root of all evil, so he spreads it around to spread the evil, right? Something yes, like that? yes, that's yeah. good. I write that down. <laughs> you see, both <laughs> the mayor and General Justice look confused. The best uh, part <laughs> is the is the money I donated was stolen from them to begin with. You see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a he's such a jokester. He's such a kidder. <laughs> the the brain on this man. <laughs> Re reanimator. Re Axel, please <laughs> make a persuasion check, Blur. As you try to to to, to fuse focus from uh, the reanimator's eyes. God, you. right? Yeah. Gee, oh, plus two to persuasion. The reanimator really thinks you're yeah, talking yeah. them up as a as a good villain. <laughs> So you see the mayor and uh, General Justice, like they, they, they're not buying it, but you hear kind of a couple like blue collar workers go, yeah, yeah, Michael Scratcher, he was working day and night clean after this shit. Uh, yeah, we, I bought a new boat. <laughs> and we have a new boat. You can go out there. Be careful of the small boats. They're mines. <laughs> you, you, you hear another one go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just started working for the reanimator. It, it, it's weird, but hey. I built my arm and it was free. I just went in. They said it. I got a cast. Didn't have to pay anything. 
Ooh, let me say that. Oh, free healthcare in this country? Oof. You've not, not even you can do that, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> so if, if he could, Axel is going to look around the podium and see if he can find uh, something that he could... Uh, Something that he could plug in his his mighty axe guitar into, <laughs> like an amp, <laughs> because we seem to have a musical theme at the moment, and plug it in and go, "Hey everybody, I, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna play something because this is going off the rails." <laughs> I call this my distant early warning, and just start. <laughs> It just starts just really roughing, riffing. Just riffing if our through. boy here needs a hero point, I'll be glad to spend one of mine. Riff away. <laughs> uh, is, there's no performance with this one. I don't even know what I would roll. Uh, roll uh, <laughs> technology or... There is presence. Oh, yeah. Technology or presence. Yeah. Yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. All right. I have zero points in that. Let's do it. Ah. A hero point well spent. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't spend. I didn't. Well, I didn't. I did. I, I wanted you to rock. Oh, well, so you, oh, you spent. <laughs> yes, that, that bumps up to a fifteen. All oh. right. Can I add a hero point to that? Make it. Make that a twenty-five. <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely can. All right. I Time. don't have a hero point, but if I could help, can I? <laughs> there we go. All right. Well. Well done. Well, well done. Didn't. Time to steal the show. Yeah. And he just starts playing some Y Y Z. Yeah, it's a, you you guys like you, you see Mr. Blur trying to convince the crowd uh, of what the reanimator has done uh, in his villainous ways. Uh it, it a lot some of the crowd that have directly benefited are buying from buying it, but a lot of the crowd's just shaking their heads. And then like confusion hits their brain initially as uh, Axel starts like I mean, for a second they're just like they look confused, like what's what's going on? Uh, but a lot of them get into it. They're like, oh, yeah, hey, a concert. <laughs> We're alive and it's a concert. Play <laughs> classical jazz. <laughs> now, a Axel's a prog rock guy. I feel like that should be clear by now based on all the references. He's a prog rock guy. <laughs> what do you mean you're not going to play Toxic by Britney? <laughs> I, I, I don't... Mm. One day, one day, I may <laughs> diversify. <laughs> so you guys are playing. Uh, the crowd is starting to love it. Uh, you see the, the mayor and the uh, general justice look very confused. Uh, it, like, they, 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 like, general's like, is there a concert now? The mayor goes, on. Just, just go along with it. You'll get kidnapped on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> you see, yeah, and maybe they're like, like just tiptoeing up behind the mayor, like with with his crowbar, kind of like at an ad live action movie style. <laughs> I, I I want to imagine a giant stack. <laughs> it, it feels very Pink Panther. <laughs> you see okay, so what's going on now? <laughs> Well, after so you're... lost after all this insanity. After your concert or your your, your solo is done, uh, you see the bear go. Well, you got to look around the crowd, and like he sees a lot of people enjoying it. Like you see his face, like he's got a smile on, but his eyes are clearly pissed. Like no insight role necessary. Like he's like he looks around and goes. Well, give it up for our old heroes. Yeah, they, they they're they're still around, I guess. They're still villains. Um, <laughs> yes, they're, they're villains. They're villains, right? <laughs> yes, we're all the anger, as the kids say. Yeah, all of the anger. They have our key to the city right now, which I gave to them by popular demand. I mean, there's a vote. I had I had to give it to them. <laughs> but, you but, got to give it to us. Yeah, uh, yes. Got yeah. to. You were. It was an opportunity. It was a privilege. I was honored to give it to you. But look at this new shiny hero, General Justice. Look at these. Yeah. He's Speaking a hero of got to rise. give it to us. Wow. Let's get, let's get another round of applause wow. for Axel shredding away. <laughs> I, yeah. You, uh, 
I did, Mayor, I did not think you were the kind of person to be taken by something shiny. My goodness. I, where's the substance? Huh? Huh? Uh, you, you see him kind of pull out his phone, and he, think, he does like a ceramic view of around city center, and then he like Googles around the tower and shows you your moat, uh, and he passes the phone to you. He passes. <laughs> Baller. <laughs> Baller. <laughs> <laughs> the reanimate is going to go up to the mayor and uh, General Justice, and he's going to look to General Justice. Now, my friend, my new nemesis, this you are the new hero in town. And it, I thought it only, only acceptable if I stole your thunder. Get it? Because I'm the reanimator. <laughs> I use lightning. Yeah. You see, he got he like he looked confused. He go, oh yeah, yeah. And you stole my thunder, indeed, hero. Uh, you stole it from me because we are all heroes here. We are serving this great city of Arcadia and our nation of America because we are true heroes, really? even if we do villainous deeds, kidnap the mayor, and burn down the city. We're heroes on different I levels. I would break your kneecap if you could. <laughs> like, he, pull, he pulls out the crowbar. Uh, and he looks at just like, like pure shock and he goes, well, that's enough for today, heroes. Keep on the lookout for general justice. I have come through and saved the day. We're all heroes. And he takes off. Oh. Yeah, what you, what uh, can the reanimate just try to quickly dunk him with the crowbar <laughs> right. as the fan leaves? Yeah, you get a crowbar attack. Make a crowbar uh, attack against him. What's his, his parry? 12. <laughs> a swing in the miss. Uh, yeah, you see, I are, think he. Are we actively kidnapping the mayor now? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> this is no, general, general justice. General justice. <laughs> So you see Welcome him in the town, punk. <laughs> like he's like the crowbar just misses his feet as he takes off, and he looks down and goes, "That was unkind, hero." But hey, I am General Justice, and I forgive because that is a heroic way. Stay you safe. Can, Stay you safe. can see for once the reanimator's like helmet actually like crack. <laughs> and for once, it isn't played up rage. There, it's smile on his face, eyes are a little bit wide. It's like actual, genuine anger <laughs> at this point. I have a flaw with obsession and temper. Uh, <laughs> nice. That that will fit. Uh yeah, so you guys see the the ballistic, uh, the belligerent ballistic uh, bombers have been stopped for today with the robots. You saw the new hero in town, General Justice, could go through and schmooze with the mayor. And if it wasn't for Axel's riff, completely steal your thunder on that side. Uh, but he took away, and he had the mayor's favor, and. City Center did look a lot better than the, by the tower. You guys are able to make your way back to uh, back to home or back to wherever you want to go. What's the crew doing next after seeing these be belligerent ballistic bombers and the new hero in town? Yeah, uh, and made us having this picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Blur is with him though. Like he's gonna go on the picnic. Why not? But he is not gonna shut up about. It's not even a real alliteration. It's, <laughs> it just sounds the same, but it's not the same. G and J, good grief. He's just like, like Seinfeld annoyed. Like, I don't believe it. No, they don't. it's not the literal. Think of it like general mayhem all around. But it's, but it's, but it's the same sound. It feels cheap. You know what? I'm, I'm starting to understand this whole villain thing. I hate that guy. <laughs> Yes, yes, you understand. Oh, we're here. Uh, he'll, he'll park at the cemetery, go up to a specific grave, throw out the blanket, and uh, start start uh, eating his uh, meatball sub. Was this a bring-your-own-food picnic? 
Oh, oh here, a potato salad. Took me three oh. days. Three days. Three. Uh, three. You have to age it. Oh, it's like cheese or <laughs> wine or milk. <laughs> mayonnaise. <laughs> ah, right. Uh, the mayonnaise is it, has to sip. The, is is that? I don't care anymore. I'm just so mad. General <laughs> justice. General justice. More like general gossip. Am I right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um he's like Axel's oh, very proud of himself. <laughs> Don't hear a boy for that one. <laughs> what is what does that even mean? General justice. Is he is there more of him? Is he commanding a legion or is he speaking generally? I just can't stand him. Good God, it's not even a real alliteration. <laughs> he, he kept calling us heroes. Heroes. That's, that's it actually... the word. If we're all heroes, then we're all none of us are heroes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, he, he completely he's... throws off the balance. Just imagine Mr. Blur just having this whiny like meltdown. He's so <laughs> irritated by this man, and he doesn't even understand why. <laughs> I, it, I, I think he's fine. He is not fine. He he keeps oh, telling he... us heroes, and he's not even trying to redeem us. Like this good fellow here, my old nemesis. <laughs> like <for> his <laughs> <sports> gray. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't seem that talented. He's going to be one of your minions at some point. We just have to wait for you to lobotomize him. It's fine. I don't want it, him as a minion. This is his or it, no, this is his origin story. <laughs> he starts off as a, as a hero, and as then he's just, you know... <laughs> okay. General, just j j j j. Off as a as a hero, saying that the heroes again and again. Wait a second. You're right. This is his origin story. This is his entrance. I think he might be actually a villain in disguise. Oh, that could be great. But uh, what we did need heroes in the city to fight against. It's all been five of villains as of late. <laughs> I mean, what really makes? Do you have any ice cream? I could go for some ice cream. <laughs> I need to restock. Nope. Me and Sorastia, I uh, just devoured the last bit. Oh. Yeah, I bet Sir Steers back at the tower, like with all of Reanimate his ice cream, <laughs> just, just just munching away. Munching away as our like watching this all in the news, like glad I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> glad I'm not there. Did he get dunked on by no general today? <laughs> Might have gone if he hadn't called it the axle call. <laughs> <laughs> he had his armored sword already. Heard an actual call. I was like, whoop. Back to the ice cream. Back to the ice cream. I don't think that's for me. I don't think that's. <laughs> well, all right. So, uh, wow. Is this what it's. This is really cool. I'm, I'm going I'm to say it. How do we get general justice? What? Should we do it to like, like a dark room or something? <laughs> We're in a graveyard. It doesn't get much darker than yeah. this. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is, it's fine. <laughs> but like, you know, we're not trying to like summon a demon to kill. Him. Can we do that? My God, I hate this guy. <laughs> Mr. Blur's <laughs> downfall. His hate of fake alliteration. <laughs> Listen, after what happened to the sense, uh, we, we don't mess with summoning demons anymore. <laughs> okay. But I really want to get this guy. Well, if you're willing to overstep the bounds of heroes and villains, you could always try and find out his secret identity. Which, oh. which is uh, no go for me, personally. But if you're up for it, we could always kidnap his family. Uh, let's put a pin in that. <laughs> let's put a pin in that one. Um. Look. Good ideas, good brainstorming, but maybe, um, maybe we avoid the kidnapping family part right now. Maybe we just um, put them in a death trap. What, what if we do nothing and observe? You know, maybe if we give this guy enough rope, he'll hang himself. Yeah. Wait. Don't bad guys like seethe and like get really mad and like like let it build up and get crazy about it? 
Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Okay, I'm I'm gonna seethe really hard. Like I am. Oh boy, awful. I ooh, I'm gonna seethe like nobody's ever seethe. Capital S E E T H E seethe. Oh boy, mad. All right. So you guys, it sounds like you guys want to kind of watch him over a bit of time and kind of see what he does. Yeah, yep. that's uh, I think that's a consensus. But doing it angrily, of course. Oh yeah, you gotta be angrily. Yes. I like As to he, uh, imagine us watching him as like a montage of him doing various things. Yeah! <laughs> That's exactly where I read my mind on that one. Uh, but you're doing it angrily, so I feel like Mr. Blur, I don't know what he would drink, but I feel, imagine like a bottle of cheap vodka or whiskey like <laughs> just next to him as he like just takes drinks and sees these different heroic acts. <laughs> <laughs> as he totally sees... Just... General justice. I I just want to imagine, and this is the stupidest thing I can't imagine at the moment. Uh, Axel is trying to like find his inner villain because he's not a villain; he's a hero. <laughs> so like he starts lighting what appears to be a cigarette that he's smoking, and then every now and then he'll pull it out, and you'll just realize he's lighting the end of a lollipop or like a sucker. There's just like. This is burning at the end. <laughs> well, for uh, so let's just say that uh, Mr. Blur has a very fast metabolism, so he's like trying to like be mad and drink and just be, be angry, but he just doesn't. He just takes shots, so it's just like a like like an angry partying almost. Like, it's just like just that split like second of like shot. drop this. From yeah, like it's it's like. <laughs> like there's a, a oh, montage of you boys. They drive me to drink. it's like there's a montage of you running around all over town finding posters of him and just like drawing on them <laughs> <laughs> general justice all right, yeah uh, i'll cut it out oh man you all get to see as you guys watch, I imagine you probably you guys are the most patient sort. So I imagine a week is probably the longest you could watch him without like getting too overblown. But you see, over the week, he is pretty active. He saw some minor stuff, like uh, he stops a mugger from attacking an old lady. Uh, he helps the mayor clear up some of the damage around the tower. Uh, he helps uh, kind of just do some minor stuff like that. But he has three big hero moments during that bit. Uh, they're all against the BBB gang, the, the belligerent ballistic bro, uh, bombers. Uh, do you see? Uh, you see? You see two of the core members of the belligerent ballistic bombers, uh, ballistic Billy uh, and uh, bomber uh, Bobby. Uh, do you see them uh, just going through? Uh, you see kind of ch Bomber Bobby's chucking grenades, Ballistic Billy's just lighting it up. Uh, you see as soon as General Justice gets on there, they have a brief fight, but those two take off. And you see General Justice posing in the background uh, as they kind of run away from him. Uh, and he goes, we're all heroes. The day is saved. Wait, that's only me too. Where's the belligerent Ben? Because <laughs> we're through what we fought. Belligerent Ben, because that's a little bit of a little Can I uh, maybe spend some time hacking the internet to learn what I can about the BBB? Yeah, sure. So make okay. a technology check, or uh, unless you have a special skill for hacking. I don't think I do. I do have eidetic memory, but I don't see how that's remotely relevant. Nice. Yeah, you hack in. You feel you see the the belligerent uh, ballistic bombers have been around. I pop up about a year. They, they've become a small time gang, uh, and mostly they've uh, committed small kind of like ransom situations where they kidnap somebody or plant bombs somewhere and try to extract some money or uh, pay off some there to turn off the bombs or give back the kidnapped target. Uh, one of the things you found, you, you've seen Bomber Bobby uh, and then uh, Ballistic Billy, uh, but they did have a third member. 
uh, they, they uh, belligerent, uh, what was his name? Belligerent, uh, uh, belligerent, uh, Benny. Uh, and you see, wait, uh, I had that right. I told it. <laughs> uh, and you see, he used to be a part of the group, uh, but he actually got exploded in one of Bomber Bobby's explosions. Uh, and he's not been seen around since. Uh, they've been down, and since uh, he, they've lost him, they've been a little bit more desperate, uh, cobbling together their robots and moved to Arcadia City and sort of terrorizing the locals. And would I know of a home base or anything? Something something I could invade? <laughs> no home base on the internet, unfortunately. Um, okay. Oh. I, I have a theory. A wild theory. This mysterious dead third man is our general justice. Hmm. Hmm. But where did he get the powers like flight? I mean, what have we seen him do, really? Except be annoying. <laughs> you see him flies? A uh, little bit of super speed, not compared to Mr. Blur's speed, but definitely faster than the average human. Uh, you've seen him lift heavy things. Uh, that's so far we've seen from him. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I have the well informed feature. Uh, just read back over that one right there. So, uh, could I make an investigation check with the belligerent ballistic bombers uh, to see if the reanimator knows where they're hold, held up at? So, with the hold up or with the uh, axles piece, they're new to Arcadia, they, they're not ones that have kind of a a stationary oh. location so far. They're kind of the newcomers to the city. You know they used to be uh, in Liberty City for years. They used to live in an abandoned warehouse out there. Uh, but nobody knows so far where they're hiding out in Arcadia. Well, and then they'll uh, click in his head. They didn't attack the tower. That means they must be inside the town. <laughs> Um, I imagine him checking that for a few days and not finding nothing. <laughs> kind of going through for a part of that week, just going through floor by floor, every little piece, looking for any spot of bobber, bombs or evil technology. And you don't find any other technology outside of your own, unfortunately. How's the A on the tower coming along? My My painting <clears throat> job. Was if Axel is painting? Uh, he probably has that A on there, unless anybody has stopped him so far. <laughs> I'm just imagining like the craftsmanship of a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great graffiti! Quite evil. <laughs> it is a very good upside down V. For... <laughs> um, what is um, Mr. Blur. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is uh, he is he's out patrolling the city, not for crime, but for vengeance. Because <laughs> man, oh man, that fake alliteration <laughs> rubbing against him like sandpaper, grating his every thought. It soured the sweetness in his life. All the boats, I don't care if they float. I don't care if they sink. Bonsai trees, let them wither. This house of cards. It was never going to stand up anyway. <laughs> this new man <laughs> This man is hunting. General justice. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like keeping an eye out for him, following around. Like, like imagine like Randall from Recess. If oh, you know, that, with yeah, a little notepad. <laughs> like, I'm gonna get you, you dirty rat. It's been a while since I've thought of that show, but that fits. <laughs> That like that like that little sniveling crass face <laughs> is what I'm imagining Mr. Blur doing, just being so like <laughs> just ready to tell on somebody. Yeah, like as soon as he messes up, I'm gonna look stupid. So he uh <laughs> as surreptitiously as he can follows him as quickly as he can. All right, make both his stealth and perception check. All right. Ste hey, actually, I'm not too bad at this whole stealth thing. I just need to roll it. Did I roll? Hey. <laughs> but apparently I can I can roll a one. Uh you know what? I'll add a 10 to that. I want to I want to see where this guy lives. <laughs> All right, that'll help. That'll... <laughs> All right. 
Make that perception check. Okay. I swear if it's another one, I'm going to lose it. Because <laughs> <laughs> he has pretty good perception. Probably, for yeah, yeah, he's got 11. He's got... <laughs> and like yeah. my stealth is 13. Like, come on. <laughs> All right. Well, luckily, you are able to just use your super speed to blur in and out of focus, making it hard for uh, General Justice to keep an eye on you. And you see him kind of flying around the city. Uh, you see him kind of do some of those small acts of heroics. Uh, but you see him actually kind of fly, fly to the outskirts of town. Uh, and you see kind of a, with a 27 too, you see him kind of dash in. You see him kind of plunk right into a warehouse right by the, the docks of the city. And that's where we're actually going to take a quick break. Uh, so we're taking, what time is it? 8.48. We'll come back at 8.00. 55. So seven minute break. Uh, we'll be back uh, and we'll see how that goes as uh, Mr. Blur has spotted where his arch nemesis uh, is held up. I love I this arc for Mr. Blur. I just want to say this one last thing. He's going to go into his little calm thing and say, Axel team, we got him. Oh, Axel team. <laughs> <laughs> You see Sir Austere still eating ice cream like, who the fuck is Axel? <laughs> and he just puts the phone down and goes about his day. <laughs> Man, I mean, he's just like, how did you get my number? <laughs> who is this? All right, well, gonna, oh, so we'll be right back, everybody. I'll see you guys in a few.
Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Heroes of Arcadia, our shenanigan filled Mutes and Masterbots episode. One thing I do want to call out so I use Mutes and Masterbots for my shenanigans game. You can play a serious game with Mutes and Masterbots. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be shenanigans filled. I, my, I, my other games, uh, Invasion uh, is very serious. Kazuya right, Kazi game, which is currently not streamed, is serious. This is my reprieve from seriousness. Uh, and so you could, if you want to play a serious game, definitely don't feel like you can't. Uh, but it's fun for kind of a low stakes fun game, from my view. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, one thing I do want to shout out one time, one more time before we go back into the game. Join us tomorrow for Against the Horde, uh, Matt Coble's new challenge, getting on the leaderboard. I think there's like six spots in the leaderboard so far. I want to get like a pretty good spot on it. So hopefully next by Friday, I don't know when they updated each time but, but sometime next week you'll see us all on the leaderboard uh with uh, one of our crews going through but we're gonna be running it tomorrow uh, at 7 p.m uh eastern time uh, on the same channel so come through hang out uh you'll see how it goes i'm gonna be giving the group hell so hopefully they'll be able to pull through uh because yeah matt will make some nasty monsters like he's one of the few monster ones that i, I just use as is uh versus tweaking or adding things to it so it should be pretty fun on that side but uh, when we left our hero, <laughs> when we left our heroes, yeah. and I say that loosely, <laughs> uh, they were uh, looking to tear down the new new hero on the streets, General Justice, the hero with no alliteration in his name, <laughs> or fake alliteration in his name. Uh, and Mister Blur was able to. Use his super speed to hide from the hero and follow him back to a warehouse on the outside of town by the docks and call off the axle line uh, as the uh, the group buys in uh, and let the uh, the heroes know uh, he knows where he is right now. I know where that son of a bitch lives. <laughs> Mister Blur is Mister Mad. <laughs> Infuriated right now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it just feels right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what are the other two? What are you guys uh what are you thinking? Uh yeah, I answer the Axel call. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I I'm right here, I'm already behind you. Right. Jesus. <laughs> The reanimator mobile is parked two feet next to me. <laughs> <laughs> this camera pans slightly. Reanimator mobile. <laughs> I got a I feel like a... the ice cream here you go. Oh, uh, well, I, that's really nice of you. Thank you. Yes. But uh, yeah. you know, we're, we're, we're here to ruin this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, but never do it on an empty stomach. Oh, I... Uh, well, the... is this a 50-year-old ice cream? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's only 20. Oh. <laughs> yes, finding a good cherry flavor from a good producer, it was hard. I, this is the best vintage I could get on short notice. So is this uh, is this uh, is this uh, like like twenty year old ice cream? Like you got into a time machine, went back twenty years, bought ice cream, came back. So it's actually kind of fresh, or is this actually nope. twenty years old? No, oh, <laughs> Jesus! No, it's yeah. poison. Oh, it's okay. Run. It's death. Oh, I'm a, I'm a actually allergic. Death. I think I'm allergic to cherries. Probably at, like right That's now, why I just became the cherries went from red to green. It's it's fine. <laughs> I I'm allergic to cherries, even if they're not ripe. So yes. 100%. Oh my god, can't eat it. Anyway, let's go ruin this guy. It's Camera awesome. cuts to Sir Austin back in the lair just eating like tubs. <laughs> and for those who are new to the stream and haven't seen one of those with Sir Austin, he's usually another player that plays with us. Uh, he is a th thousand plus year old man. I forgot when, he, what, when he said he was born. Uh, that's pretty much functionally immortal, which is one of the cool things you can make with the system. Like you can make an immortal character and have it be by the rules and not be like that guy and make it. Uh, and so, yeah, he's just a DD, but when you're trying to be immortal, like you're being that guy. But News of Mastermind, it's like they've got all the powers. You can make an immortal character, make it be fair, and have fun with it. 
So he's the mortal character. So he is he's back there eating that that red, red ice cream that's now green. Uh, probably, probably took all the fifty year old ice cream uh, by for himself. How thoughtful of him. <laughs> well, uh, you know, if we go in there really quick and beat him up and show him who's boss. Maybe just maybe we can get out here and start. I uh, actually still be fine. Either way, we should get in there and find out. What do you guys think? I think we should go. Really? What? Okay. What? No, he's waiting for someone. See, he's just standing there menacingly. <laughs> well, you guys are on the outside of the warehouse right now. Yeah. yeah. What, what, oh. what are you talking about? What are you, oh, what are you talking about? Uh, hold on. He's inside. Uh, the reanimator no, that, actually has a tool for this. He has a flashlight he's pointing at the wall watching him that has the x ray feature. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. The, yeah. So, yeah, as you pull on the x-ray, uh, you see uh, Captain Justice, or General Justice, uh, stalking through the his lair. Uh, you see him, like, kind of like he gets, he, fly, he flies in. You see him take off his cape. Uh, he grabs a drink, uh, and you see him kind of walking around the lair. Uh, it looks like he's talking to somebody, like, kind of like, on the far side of him. Uh, you kind of see him gesturing, like, laughing, taking a drink. Uh, you see him kind of lift uh, up a box like effortlessly and look inside and goes, ah, and throws it. And you see cash fall out. Uh, it looks like he's having a good day. All right. I have some I have... ice cream for him. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll knock on the door and let's grab ourselves a bag of shit and set it down and light it on fire. But, but, what? Well, well, what? I thought you were a villain. Yes. Not a not a delinquent fourteen year old with too much time on their hands. I want to get in there. What, I want to ruin him. Villain. That's what villains do, though. But I want to bury him in fifteen spots. I hate this man. <laughs> the birth of Mister Blair, the villain, the murdering <laughs> him. I mean. Wait, I thought you were on the same page. I thought, like, I thought we were really bonding, man. I am a villain, not a psychopath, not a, not a socio. Uh, I don't kill people. I, I'm a villain. <laughs> You're a villain, but I'm the one suggesting, hey, let's go kill this guy and bury him in different zip codes. And all of a sudden, you're getting squeamish? Wait, do you have a good... You're tutting at me? Listen, listen. If you have a good one-liner to kill him with, I won't reanimate it. That's, that's the rule. That's... All right. Um... I can't. It's the unsaid rule of all villainy. If you die to a good one-liner, that's it. Uh, General Justice, it seems the scales have tipped against you. <laughs> seems like Justice has truly really turned a blind eye to you. <laughs> ah, okay, I can work with that. Or, uh, 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 hey, Justice, you're a jerk! And uh, <laughs> This Justice is not supreme. Yes! He's, you're, uh, generally disappointing. Uh, Turns out the scales uh, weren't in your favor. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, General Justice, uh, your mother's, uh, never mind, look, uh, he's in there. We could he's just bust it. in there. As, as you guys yeah. are workshopping the cocaine. Man, you do see the <laughs> general justice uh, take his drink uh, and his new box of money. I think I'm like, you see him tap on like a wall behind, uh, I got a wall, and you see it open and him kind of go down in underneath the ground by an elevator stash. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Maybe I'm not the bad guy. Maybe I've just got really good instincts. But uh, <laughs> what a good oh, no. guy. Oh, no, there's definitely, there's definitely bad to go around right now. Okay, but seriously, we, we though, just might accidentally be doing something positive. <laughs> okay, well, my heart's in it for the wrong reasons, and that's what you know. What, what, what? Good guy, right? Good guy, good capital G. See, that's alliteration. Good guy good uh, <laughs> has an underground base. And the mighty marvel, the drill sergeant, uh, Sea Squatch. Sea Squatch. Yeah, sea squats. Technically, it's underneath the uh, ocean floor. It was such a fight to get him to say it was like hey, it is, uh, semantics. Okay, but no, seriously, looking around, it, like, taking a look around, is this like a nice part of town, or is this kind of a? Oh, this is like it's by the docks. Like this is a rough part of town. Okay. Uh, so, Mister uh, Mister uh, 
fake alliteration uh, down there, going into his underground secret lair, right? Lair, because he's a bad guy. I'm the good guy now. Me, not him. <laughs> All right? Because uh, guess where? Them. No, but I live above ground, and uh, <laughs> I don't have a box of money, okay? What do you have Listen, against wall people? I am even, <laughs> but I'm not classist. That's the point. <laughs> Well, I don't have a lot of money, and he does, and I'm mad about it. So uh... let's take it. Okay. It's a crime that is not redistributing the wealth. There. Happy. Break okay. down the door. Let's get it. World justification. World there justification. we go. He's got stuff, and I don't like that. <laughs> Woo -hoo! And he'll and it belongs the in a museum. The anime the mobile to ram into the wall. <laughs> well, I was just gonna open the door, but I mean, okay, sure, yeah, vroom vroom. No roll necessary. You burst through this like, wooden wall uh, of the, the warehouse. Uh, and you see within kind of a box, rolls of boxes. Uh, and you see kind of like a, some of them, like like you see kind of like a bar box, like where you're like kind of where you stopped and got his drink. Uh, you see like he's got all the ingredients for a good old fashioned. So he's got some whiskey and nice, real nice, like a, a Pappy Van Winkle bottle too. Uh, he's got nice one there. He's got uh, the, the bitters, the sugar, all that can make a nice old fashioned. Uh, but you also see there's one on the other side too. This one looks like it's been covered up, uh, but it's right below the other one. And you see a little dollar sign on top of it. Uh, and you see kind of that wall that he went to as well and kind of went down underneath the warehouse. You don't see anybody in the warehouse so far. Taking all the boxes into the reality movie. I don't even like this stuff, but it just makes me happy that he won't have it. So the uh, <laughs> Mr. Blur will happily help you uh, load up the the contents of the bar into the Iron Man mobile with uh, uh, quick speed. Real fast for the name <laughs> name workshopping bit. Did we get a Did we get a hero point for that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you guys all a, a hero point there. Okay. I am Thanks. going to spend that hero point. And uh, it, unless there's some veto, uh, Axel's just going to assume that this is a this is an evil lair. Start grabbing all of those nice bottles of alcohol and making some flaming Molotovs. And he's just going to start tossing them around the building. <laughs> ah, yes. Arson. A favorite pastime of the Axel game. <laughs> I just feel like it just feels like the no, no, go for it, for go here. for it. No, hell yeah! I mean, I wanted to rub his face in it and let him know that General Josh is is not alliteration, and I hate him. <laughs> I hate well, him so we can. Much. I mean, when the building burns down on top of him, he'll know that that's not real alliteration. But I need yeah, to know. I don't, I don't know how to be more. I don't know how to communicate that more effectively than burning down the house he's in, <laughs> having it collapse on top of him. I mean, what, what the message does that send? Other than your name does not have proper alliteration, and you need to work on yourself. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Good point. <laughs> oh. The name wasn't structurally sound. I can kind of see the metaphor. Yeah. As you guys burn up his very, very, very good whiskey and two bottle tops cocktails. Uh, I actually, I actually thought about that because I don't drink. I'm a robot. I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't so that's why I'm. That's why I'm abusing it. Uh, the, yeah, with a hero point. Yeah, the, the lair begins to set on, on fire. Uh, you start to smell the burning of wood. Smoke clouds the area. You see some of those boxes at the end begin to burn up uh, and kind of get incinerated in the inferno. Uh, no, so far, he hasn't appeared. What are Mr. you guys Blur, doing? Mr. Blur is going to yell at the top of his lungs. Oh, God, the money! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I got most of that into the reanimator, Mobier. It'll help with inflation. <laughs> I'm just gonna start poking around that bar stand and see if I stumble upon like a like a button that tur that will open up the lair. 
Yeah, so uh, so he, he was kind of like by the wall next to the bar. So make an investigation check. Uh, but everybody make a perception check as you guys are shouting about the money, the, the warehouse is on fire, uh, <laughs> and all of the other things that took place. There's always money in the CD bar. <laughs> There's always money in the banana, banana stand. Uh, 13. Uh, oh, dang. The 20. T A. My last one. I, I oh. did not okay. find the uh, the, the button. secret button. I Smoke did not find and that. the heat of the fire kind of distracts you. Uh, did uh, Mr. Blur? Did you roll? Oh, you did. All right, twenty-eight. Yeah. All right, yeah. So, Mr. Blur and Axel, you guys hear a couple of things. Uh, Axel, between and maybe more folks are listening than you are, kind of looking for that secret entrance. But you guys hear the smoldering and the burning inferno that you guys have set off with the Pappy Van Winkle. Sad, real, real sad day here. Uh, and you see that inferno going. But you hear, like, what this just sounds like grinding, like something really strong, like bashing, 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 bashing. You hear it break free. And then you see kind of on the other side, kind of through the reanimator mobile size hole you see mr uh not mr the general justice come through and go this is not how heroes behave we're not heroes you are not that is right and you see him yeah, like, I have my license brings out reanimator theme stink please and that's a feature see, on the license i i paid for that point you, you did he, he goes like he's like he looks like he's about to lecture you, but then you see him look at the burning Pappy Van Winkle, and he goes like face falls. He drops a heroic pose, and he goes, "What the fuck, man? That's Pappy Van Winkle." <laughs> Came for profanity. You don't want to draw the censors. Uh, I thought heroes didn't curse or imbibe alcohol. And my, 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 it appears the tables have uh, turned o- over. The if, if, if you can afford alcohol this good, you can afford charity. <laughs> you see him look around and goes, he kind of pulls out a camera, like his phone real quick, snap. All right, I caught you bastards. You burnt down my lair. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but not my lair, but a lair, I should say. You burnt down somebody's stuff. And Pappy Van Winkle... I'm gonna beat you down. I'm gonna turn you into the mayor, and they're gonna call me a hero again. Cause I, I, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm General Justice. I'm a hero. Yes, you are. Yeah, you guys are all I'm heroes. Justice. You guys are heroes. Uh, uh, Ballistic Bomber Squad, get these fools. You dirty rat. Like those are villains. Uh, and you see as he says that, uh, kind of merging uh, behind him through the hole he dug in the earth, you see Bomber Billy, which looks like a grown man in a Bomber Man costume. <laughs> like, uh, he's holding like comical bombs and he, he's replaced, like he's got like two of them out. You don't know where he'd get more bombs, but he just autom- he just gets more bombs when he needs to. Uh, you also see Ballistic Billy, uh, who's got like orange skin uh and you see his arms like shape shift into like two guns uh as he looks at you guys uh he goes yeah okay you just gotta see this uh uh the, the general justice go okay yeah 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 i came through and saved the day i'll save you or you're only gonna die i'll stop the fire from the bomberman and you guys will fuck off and I'll get my money and fame. So, hey, yeah, yeah, but yeah. You, Prepare to die. You're a hero. And these are villains. You're in command of the villains. Those are questions. And dead men don't ask questions. <laughs> I've died many times. That's see, like, true. He he keeps dying. Yes. And coming uh, back. You, do, you think, do you think if you killed me that uh, that to stop me? I come back. So Astia comes back. Not we bad. we don't. <laughs> I, I don't think you understand who you're fighting. No, but, but Sir Ostier's uh, eating ice cream right at the tower. <laughs> Sir Ostier isn't here. Yeah, Sir Ostier's not here. Damn. 
Can I use I'm a hero moving. point to have the fires light Bomberman up so that <laughs> all of his fuses, whether he intended for them to be off or not, are all activating? Boy, that's that far, yeah. He's now on fire. Boy, that's far. <laughs> yeah. Hero points are not your or even dirty. You're dead. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm just imagining what, uh, what it's like, what it's like for a guy who's literally just strapped with dynamite everywhere inside a burning building. What's that like? Hey guys, I'm carrying like 20 kilograms of gunpowder. Oh boy, is that an open flame? He actually is just straight up. Oh, it's beautiful. Cosplay of Bomberman. Unfortunately, so uh, with Mutes of Aspirants, I don't have like a a table view for this because I always do theater of the mind. But for viewers, it is straight up. I've looked for Bomberman cosplays. It bought a pretty cool one, I think. <laughs> Inspiring. Alright. Oh, uh, let me clear the initiative. I don't think I did that last time. And let's get it to initiatives. Alright, you guys can roll. Yeah. Dang it, I didn't click my boy. Okay, let's see if I can actually do this properly this time. I'll uh, change that back to a 36. Nice. Man, it's been a while since I've seen a natural 43 on initiative roll. <laughs> That's one of the cool things with Mutes of Mastermind. You get some crazy numbers with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Much easier to try the... <laughs> The one day, and as much as I love my uh, my shenanigans game, I do want to do like a real short, serious campaign with it. Because uh, this, I tried to, uh, I didn't stream this one. I was yeah, it was just Burger that was in this one. Uh, I did like a couple, three shot with the more serious universe, but I realized I made my own. I tried to make my own universe for it, but I realized with comics, like I, most of my fun ideas come from like Marvel or DC. So I do want to do like a fun one in Marvel or DC versus like. Because I was realizing I was just making a bad version of either one. Each time I had to try to have a, a different idea, I'm like this is just this, but slightly different. I do <laughs> want to do a serious one, like a three shot or two, three, like a three or four shot campaign sometime. Uh, probably late this year, next year, sometime when I have more free time. Uh, did I roll for everybody? No, I did not do Bomber Billy. Bomber Billy. <laughs> Oh, poor Bomber Billy. <laughs> oh, I forgot to click on him. Uh... Yeah, my villains roll terribly. Yeah, General oh, no. still has a 19. How... He has like a How plus 8, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, no. The overwhelming tragedy. No, please. <laughs> poor, poor villains. Is that really a modified zero? <laughs> 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 All right. That's really bad. <laughs> Mr. Blair, you are up. Well, feeling vindicated in his hatred, he no longer feels like such a bad man. In fact, he hated a terrible man, and that makes him good. <laughs> right? Transit Don't property. Tra yeah. Bad luck yeah. that made uh, the reanimator into the villain he is today. Yeah, the villain with healthcare yeah, yeah. and benefits and, and banks. All right, uh let's go with a whirlwind attack. He's he's feeling he's feeling good. I'll uh, throw it out so you can see the DC. That's that mm. it, it's not an attack roll, it's just a DC what sixteen? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So they gotta make their dodge checks first. Uh, General Justice surprisingly does not have great dodge. He will fail his dodge. Oh, let me do his toughness before I move on. Oh, yeah, his toughness is going to carry him through this, unfortunately. Unless he gets a one. Yeah, you got Almost. two. You got a two. <laughs> but, Almost. Yeah, because now one thing with two with Moods and Masterminds, if you haven't played, 
for even for like saves and things like that, a nat one or a nat 20 matter. Uh, so even if you bumped it up to like a 22 and you got a nat 20 and you had a zero, you'd succeed. Same thing with a nat one, even if it's 17, because it's 16 in toughness. If you got a 17 with a nat one, you'd have failed. Uh, but let's get him. So he passed. Let's see how Ballistic Bobby does. He's actually pretty good at dodge. Uh, so he's not able to dodge it, but he is able to out tough it. You see, uh, the bomb goes off and catches uh, both uh, General Justice uh, as well as Ballistic Bobby flat footed. Uh, but they're able to come through unharmed. Uh, and let's, or not the bomb, the whirlwind attack from, uh, mm -hmm. from Mr. Blur uh, goes off. And let's see how it goes for Bomber Billy. He dodges aside, so he's going to have to beat a, will that be half eight? Yeah. You see he, like, you see him just kind of juking and dodging. You just kind of moving through your whirlwind assault. Well, all righty then. All right. Oh, boy. Go for anything extra? Or... How can I do a? Can I do a fast grab? That's a. I don't know if that's what would count as an unarmed attack because I am punching. Oh, it's a fast grab. So kind of like kind of grapple them up. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let me, um, so it's been a bit since I've done the grapple rules. Let me look up the grapple rules. Okay, I think with this system, you make an attack. So I think that would use your kind of fast fighting style. Uh, let me make sure, though. That's a good deal. Kind of that, uh, oh, oops. boy. Oh, let's see. Yeah, we'll say uh, it's an attack roll on that side. So go go ahead. I'm looking up the real rules in a bit. Do I use supersonic punch or just roll a straight D20? Oh, we'll say you use your fast fighting style for it. Uh, so I think that's the same thing as supersonic punch. Go, su go supersonic punch for it. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a... Which one are you trying to grapple up? Who was the last one that went? Bomber Billy. Yeah, Let's Bomber Billy's uh yeah, or Ballistic or Bomber Billy and Ballistic Bobby both have six. Okay. Well let's just say I went for the last one you rolled for. So whoever that is. Okay. Yeah, so Bomber Billy. Okay. All right. Now what? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you got him grappled up and uh let me Pull up my condition sheet for grapple. I definitely can't go two months again without playing because I've. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> oh, man. So, is there a grapple condition? If it's too, if it's too much, ignore it. The hell with it. Doesn't matter. It's not that serious. <laughs> Seriously, it just seems like a like a complicated thing. Uh, it's not usually because I remember it was. I liked it when I remember. I remember what it was. All right. What's uh, uh, what's a re what's a resistance check? Does that make sense? Against your strength or the rank of a grabbing effect, using the better of strength or judge. Okay. So, so yeah, like a strength check on that side. Uh, you went bottom belly, so that was actually the. Good one to go to for strength. Uh, and we'll say, uh, let's take a look at the conditions. We'll say that they are impaired uh, if yeah. you, you, you grab a hold of them. Strength or dodge, whichever one's better. All right, he's he's going to dodge on that side. Oh, how do you do? So 20. Uh, which wouldn't be so yeah you get him in there so he is impaired so he has a minus two to all of his checks right now uh until he can break free 
And I'm not sure if that's the exact rules for it, but we'll look that up later. Uh, that's how we're going to rule it for today. Okay. Uh, so you kind of got him locked up. Uh, you got the bomber, Billy, kind of next to you. You can see him struggling uh, in vain, trying to get it out of your grip. All right. Next, that brings us to. All right. Axel, you're up. I may just be finding my way, but you're nobody's hero. <laughs> <laughs> and he shoots his Axel Buster at um, General Gossip. That's alliteration. <laughs> and you see, uh, he, he, like, he looks good. Like, you hit. Uh, so let's see how he does before he makes a quip. Uh, let's see. Uh, cause, yeah, he has 14 dodge. So that'll hit. Uh, toughness of fortune. He is tough. Oh, but not tough enough. All right, so you that blast into him. Uh, he takes a hit on that side. Uh, and so with a hit, he takes a minus one to his toughness. Uh, and you see, he goes five. And now, if I may, with a little extra effort, yeah, I will say this is just my free will. But I'm about to make a subdivision out of you. It, that was forced. That was rather forced. Uh, he he looks rather confused, difficult. like subdivision? Like, <laughs> we're in a warehouse, mate. <laughs> oh, a fortune that. Actually, no, that was just hit. 14. Yeah, that just hits. Uh, yeah, so Buster's electrical damage, too. Mm -hmm. oh. I was able to choose which kind of damage I wanted it to be. Nice, yeah. You see those hits piling up, uh, just electric electricity running through his body. Uh, and he goes, Subdivision, what, what, what the hell is that? I, I, I'm gonna break your bones, robot. Yeah, yeah, this is a belligerent bit. No, no, sorry, general justice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to uh, bring you pain. Flip. <laughs> Oh, in general Literally justice. Benny, I mean general justice. <laughs> <laughs> you see he looks at you, Axel, and you see his eyes begin to glow. Uh, you see him stare real hard at you, and you see beams of lasers come out from his eyes, arcing towards you. Need a dodge check or a toughness check? Uh, what's your dodge? Plus 10. Uh, my dodge plus 10 is uh, 25. Sweet, so that one will miss. Uh, he is going to extra effort to go... <sighs> Fuck this. I'm going to punch you. Uh, you see him fly <laughs> in. Uh, you see him rear back his arm and punch you belligerently with his super strength. Belligerently, you say. <laughs> that uh, That looks unpleasant. Uh, what is your uh, parry? My parry. That's a thing. Uh, it is a nine. Oh, yeah. So that, both will miss. All right. So you see him kind of fly in, try to smash into you. But luckily, uh, you're too quick for general justice. And, uh, okay. Cool. The reanimator, you're up. All right, so uh, what were their names, the psycho guys we fought last time? Uh, the Psycho Psychic Squad. Psycho. That's right, the Psycho Psychic Squad. Uh, you remember how they had uh, bombs placed all throughout the city? They did? And and uh, the reanimator it took a quick note to memorize where all those were and then erased it so no one else would know. <laughs> I have a hero point. Uh, can spending that hero point could one of those uh bombs be in this area that we're in right now? Uh, which would be ironic with uh the ballistic, <laughs> uh, the belligerent ballistic uh bombers here too, uh, and him pulling out the uh trigger for it. Okay, so this will be a hero point and a luck roll if you want to go through with it. DC 13. 
I'll he is. Oh, he slides in. <laughs> he takes out. He reaches in. Uh, like you see his arm kind of squeeze from his normal like sleeve of his power armor, and he pulls something out from like his actual like clothes inside the power armor, and he brings that back out, and he has it held up. Uh, held up outside of his power armor. And he looks to everyone. Hold on. I have a bomb here. The Psycho Psychic Squad planted many of mine throughout the city. And right here, where the belligerent ballistic bombers is one. And it's quite a deadly one at that. So, anyone feeling lucky? <laughs> Make an intimidation check. Uh, yeah, just intimidation check will be lower DC. 17. Pretty nice. Yeah, you see Bobber Billy, he is stone faced. Like he's he's holding his bomb, like glaring at you. Uh like he doesn't say anything, but he's holding that bomb like you can read, like, yeah, I'll survive. Uh Ballistic Bobby looks a little scared. You see that the general justice is like you see fear, a bit of self-reflection, and then is this worth this play across his face uh, as he looks at you? He'll point to the belligerent ballistic bombers and say, now, I like your music. It's very sick, as the kids are saying nowadays. I'd like you to do a cover of my theme. I'd like to hire you. You hear ballistic bombers go, yeah, man, we rock. We rock real hard. We can make real good rock music. Yeah, yes, you've probably heard my theme many a times as I go down the street. It needs a tune-up. It needs some uh, modernization. Uh, you see Ballistic Bobby kind of look to the Bobber Billy. Uh, Bobber Billy doesn't say anything, and he looks over to General Justice, who looks like he's about to take off. Uh, and he kind of looks confused, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I heard your theme. How's it go again? Like, uh, could, could you sing it for me? Uh, yeah, I've heard a lot, though. I just, I just can't think of it right now. Uh, you. <laughs> Click and uh, from the radio in his power armor just starts playing. <laughs> uh, and he, he'll look to them. Now, I'd say for now, we disengage us from you and we continue to fight General Justice, the hero here, and us as villains work together another time. What do you say? Uh, make a persuasion check. This would be a hard one. Uh, Ah, yes, I have zero modifier. <laughs> 15. That's not too bad. Uh, I am out of hero points, though. Ballistic Bob, he kind of looks, goes, hey, hey, don't press the bomb. I'm not going to fight him. That dude's crazy. But I'll, I'll sit this one out if you need to. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Don't fight him. He's he's ours. If you if you were to go to fight him, you would have, you'd have to fight us still. Yep. Yeah. Or... Our quarrel is with the general. <laughs> you said this out. We're going to beat the ever-loving life out of him. <laughs> All right. And uh... he'll put, put away the detonator for another time. And he'll look to the... To the uh, I imagine I'm going to have the extra effort to do something else, right? Yeah. yeah, I won't argue against that in the slightest. He's gonna <laughs> quickly do an electro blast at the uh, good uh, general of ill alliteration. All right, ill. Oh my god! Oh, nice. So crit. So that's a thirty-one. He's gonna be in the toughness check. Ooh, uh, right. he's flying right now, actually. Right? He is flying. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, with that crit, instead of increasing uh, the difficulty of the DC, could I do a secondary effect? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'd like to attempt an, uh, with that to knock him prone so he falls out from the air. All right. Let's see how he goes. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, you see the lightning play through him. Uh, and he goes, Yeah, yeah, I'm belligerent. General Justice, you can't trap two justice. I'm an American hero. That explains a lot. (laughs) (laughs) 
sir, this is Arcadia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you see uh, Ballistic Bobby kind of withdraws from the fray. He is not getting in this craziness. But Bomber Billy, Bomber Billy looks like he has madness in his eyes. And you see him bring out this big bomb and he hurls it at the group. Oh, I, lo- I he was the one I wanted to ke- I wanted to ke- keep. Oh, why didn't this work? Don't worry, if no one says a cool one liner when he dies, Rian Make has a chance to bring him back. I look forward to having our own little bomber man. There we go. Uh, it did not work for some reason the first time, but here it goes. All right, this is an area of effect one. This has an area of effect of 500 feet. So I think that'll catch all of you guys. That'll catch yep. everybody. Yeah. Including the general. This, this man. <laughs> no wonder. No wonder he wasn't intimidated. He has a bigger ball. He, he's impressive. I still want to keep him. What are we, what are we rolling? Uh, oh, so uh, dodge first. Oh, I forgot to roll dodge for general justice. Uh, and then toughness. If you dodge it, you uh, half it. So you beat 31, you can half it down to 15. Do I have a circumstance bonus to avoid? A you do. Of... All right. So uh, it's a dodge. Mm-hmm. So General Justice was not able to avoid it, so he takes a hit. All right, let's, I don't think any of us were able to avoid it. You guys rolled really well. Three animator and... Uh, I, I unfortunately did not pass yeah. with it with it being clearly one. I only yeah, I mean, you still like got a just a minus one from that one's a hard DC. Same with Axel. What does a, a circumstance bonus get? How many ranks do you have in that? Uh, invasion? One. I think so it's that one's one. plus two. Yeah. So not quite enough. Okay. But you st- it bumps you up just to failing by five. So okay, uh, so yeah, you guys each take a hit from that as it goes off, and you see him bring out this big bomb and throws it in. Uh, you can't see his face, but you hear him just kind of <laughs> chuckling underneath his breath uh, as this bomb goes off. It explodes uh, around. Uh, all right, Mister Blair, you're back up. All right, um, so. Is the good general uh, still airborne? He's still airborne. Is he? Uh... Definitely. Uh, he's only like probably thirty feet off the ground, so nothing you could jump if you needed to with your super speed. Okay. I mean, I got I got me a good acrobatics too, so I don't mind. But yeah, I want to go up there and punch him in the mouth. Because yeah, your super speed is what, like two miles per round? It's uh, four miles around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even need to roll for that. You could you could easily jump. 30 feet if you needed to. All right. Let's say I uh, run up the wall and then jump off of it. <laughs> Just right up, 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 and then add him. And uh, mm. did it real? Yeah, I did. And it's a nice big fat uno. Wait, so oh. that for fun? Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, that will miss. Yeah, uh, it'll miss. <laughs> but yeah, that's a nice roll. It would have hit otherwise. But yeah, you <laughs> see, like, he, like, still being electrified from the reanimator, he just kind of, like, twitches aside, uh, and you see uh, your blow go past. And uh, what does it cost to uh, do an extra effort? Uh, so, have you done extra efforts this fight? No. Oh, so it, it just, uh, it's a stacking one. So I think it starts with exhaustion and then it goes to. It gets worse each time. Let me okay. pull up real quick. Yeah, so it will. So you can do an extra action. Uh, it starts. Oh, so it starts with fatigued, then it goes to exhausted, and then it goes to incapacitated. So if you use it three times in a fight, you become incapacitated. All right, so hindered. Oh, move it less at one lower speed rank. It's a warehouse. I'll be fine. I'm going <laughs> to try to hit that sucker again. All right. Okay. Uh, 
That'll hit. That'll hit. Let's see. Maybe he's let's see how tough he is. Yeah, you guys have been knocking down his toughness score. Oof. But not this time. You smash into him with your fist and you feel steel behind it. Uh he goes, I'm the true hero of Arcadia. Your little punches can't hit me. I'm belligerent Billy. Or belligerent Benny. <laughs> Wait. You see, that's real alliteration. You can, you, you could have just let off with that. You have any <laughs> idea how much I spent on liquor? <laughs> Drowning my sorrows? Okay. Yeah, do, you... do you know how much liquor went up because of you with the reanimator? I had this is your liquor. fault. <laughs> it didn't have, in, have to be this way. It didn't. You I didn't have backwards. to burn it down. General justice. is so bad. General justice. How was that? Yes. Well, look okay. what you did to my friend. <laughs> how was I? How could I possibly respect your alcohol after all this? But uh, it's just... just to be clear, when you said steel, was it like metal steel, or is it just a really tough jaw? Oh no, this is a tough jaw. He is okay. Yeah, it right. felt fleshy like, but it just was... ah okay, okay. So I'm like shock him. <laughs> all right. Um. Yeah, that'll do it for that'll do it for Senor Blur. All right, Axel, you're up. Okay, so question. I I think I missed something. I know we got we know we got hit by that explosion. Mm -hmm. And what kind of damage did that do to me? Uh, yeah, I think you just failed by out? one. So you put a hit into the where your defenses are, and you have the hits. Uh, you put one hit in there, and it will minus for your toughness. Okay, so a minus to my toughness and uh, one hit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, then um, I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm going to look at this guy and say, Cinderella man, I'm about to hit you with a cold fire. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to use my axle buster on him. And then I'd like to use extra effort again if I need to. Let's see, how'd that go? Okay, so that was a 25 to hit. Or no, that's... Uh, 15 yeah. to hit, that will hit. hit. So. Okay. He is good. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm going to extra... Can I, don't, can I extra effort twice in one fight? You can, but you go from fatigued to exhausted. Oh, I already had exhausted listed instead of fatigued. So that's great. Okay. Let's do that, just to keep me honest. All right. <laughs> He'll fail again. Uh, another hit there. So you see the electricity kind of play through him. Uh, and he's starting to slow down. I mean, you got to break it down. He's got some strong defenses. You see his uh, his uniform, this white and gold, pristine uniform, starting to get torn up a bit. Uh, got scorch marks, scratches, uh, soot stains uh, as you guys are powering on him. Okay. I, I have another one liner. It's going to continue to be bad. I may just be an analog kid, but this is my anthem. That, that and, and, we, and we can move on now. You see, he like <laughs> he, he looks he looks around like first to like uh, Bobby the bomber or bomber uh, yeah bomber uh, Billy, and then he he looks back to like uh, Mister Blur and the reanimator. And he goes, you "Guys, catch that." The reanimator has his dome taken off, and he's sitting on top of it, and he's got his face in his hands. <laughs> e e even, even he's just—I don't, I don't get well, it. The guy likes Rush. Thank you. R rushing what? <laughs> well, you know, first off, okay, Mister Fake Alliteration does not get to judge <laughs> anything. You can. <laughs> true, true. But uh, <laughs> puts the helmet back on. The uh, the like uh, glass bowl he has specifically, not his mask. He doesn't take off his mask. You see, uh, General Justice look at Bomber Billy, uh, and then look at Ballistic, uh, uh, Ballistic. Uh, what was his name? Ballistic uh, Bobby. He goes, "Listen, Bobby, you're a traitor. Bomber Billy, fight to the death, to the death." And you see him jet off after being scared off uh, by the reanimator's uh, ploy. And he can move. Let's see how far he can move. Because he has a pretty fast flight speed. 
Oh, he's tied with Mr. Blur. He can move four miles per hour. So you guys see him sonic boom off in the sky and move uh, closer to city center. Oh, wait, four miles per hour or four miles per round? Four miles per round. 2,000 miles per hour. Ah. Uh, yeah, I can't keep up with that even in the, the anime mobile. Yeah, I can I can do two miles per uh I can do sixty miles an hour. So yeah. Normally it's two thousand miles. Blur. Yeah. He's all yours. <laughs> Normally it's two thousand, but he's a little hindered currently. Because of the extra effort. Oh. But uh it's all right. I don't mind. Let's uh let's ruin this bomber man. Well, why don't you go after uh, Justice, and we'll take care of the guys left behind. Hindered. Split the party. Split <laughs> the party. Uh, I was, I was, after that, why don't we till at the end that this fight's too easy or something while we're at it, right? <laughs> you just, you know, add it on. All right. No, but seriously, no, he's, he's hindered, so he's, he can't keep up. It's like it, come, it brings it down like by one rank, right? Ooh, wait, actually, it's the reanimator's turn, right? It is. Uh, he, he'll go over to the blur. And he's going to pat him on the shoulder here. And he has the ability to heal. Now, here's the thing. Healing can either heal a hit or a condition. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you have a lot of things for it? Or is it uh... Uh, y- yes, I do. I can't remember the exact DC, though. I think it was either 10 or 15 I have to beat. Is it just uh, healing? Uh, yeah, it's just uh, I have five ranks in healing, and it's limited to only affect others, and I can resurrect people with it. All right, let me pull it up real quick. So healing, there's a lot of words here. <laughs> uh, you can heal damage conditions by touching a subject by taking a standard action to make a DC 10 healing check. Each degree of success heals one damage condition, starting with the subject's worst condition working down. So, uh, yeah, so uh, you have to at least be the DC 10. I think it says the hindered, so very the fatigued. 11... <laughs> So he he'll walk up and give a nice zap on uh, on uh, Blur's back and say, "There you go. Your muscles are now reinvigorated with the power of electricity. Or in other words, you can catch up to the son of a bitch." <laughs> today, today, General Justice meets justice. Um, Ooh, it's time to make justice blind. <laughs> I've I've got an idea. Let's see how it plays out. All right. Bomber Billy. Uh, he's not going to do his bomb this time. He's going to do his bomb throw. So he's going to throw one at both uh, Axel as well as the reanimator uh, using multi-attack. So minus three from each of these. Uh, so what's the order? Reanimator first, Axel second for dodge. Uh, for dodge, I think he missed. Yeah, he nice. missed. Uh, Axel, Axel, what's your dodge plus 10? 25. Oh, yeah, you're good. Yahoo. This party has a lot of dodge. Yeah. All right, uh, Ballistic Bobby just continues to inch his way out of this warehouse and further from the crime scene. And Mr. Blair, you are up. It's just arson. Taking a quick look around, what was that? I know it's a stupid, expensive uh, bottle of booze. Was it Pat Van Winkle? Pat Van Winkle, yeah. Uh... Does he see any more of those lying around? Unfortunately, they are ablaze right now. I think it's time to spend a hero point. All right, yeah. You, if you spend a hero point, you definitely find the three mm-hmm. bottles uh, that have not been okay. consumed or made into Molotov cocktails yet. 
I'm going to spend the hero point and I'm going to grab those bottles and I'm going to go in a hot, hot pursuit. <laughs> okay. We are splitting the party, boys. Split, split. Split the party. Split the party. You call us a fight, you have? Well, we kill all these guys. <laughs> I don't know. What, what are the other bad things we can do? Uh, it's what my character would do. Something. I don't know. Anything. No, no, no. We're just testing the mechanics of the game. This is awesome. <laughs> All right. So with uh, three bottles in hand, Mr. Blur takes off as a blur. All right. Yeah, you are. It's four miles, four miles. You're able to catch up to him. Uh, and this is going to regular speed. And you've got quickness. You can pick up the bottles without using an action. So what are you thinking? I'm just going to. Is he going like towards the center of town? Oh yeah, his, you you could guess from his trajectory he's going towards the kind of the governmental district, going towards the mayor's office. Okay, I'll keep pace. All right, I'll keep pace. Keep pace. All right, what's the uh, Axel? What are you What are you doing back at base or back uh, at the warehouse with the bomber Bobby? I, I guess I got to shoot at Bomber Billy, that poor guy. He didn't he didn't know this was going to be happening to him today. <laughs> but, uh, he's about to get shot by Axel <laughs> with a Force 10. That will hit. Uh, he does not have a lot of toughness. Let's see how this goes for him. Yeah, he just like he takes that shot, eats it. And he just lifts a bomb. Like, just like, he doesn't say anything. He just holds the bomb menacingly. Like, kind of like, like he's going to throw it at you. Uh, I want an extra effort again, but I don't think I can do it three times. If for no other reason than to aim at the bomb in his hands. <laughs> you, you can, but after you do it, you will be incapacitated. I'll hold off. It seems yeah. like it, it seems like I'm really pushing it. So I was gonna I'll say we already split the party. What's a little more? <sighs> You're a bad influence, <laughs> and so I'm gonna do it. Uh, but I am. Uh, I'll do it again. And, I'm kidding. Uh, hold off. Oh God. <laughs> and I'm putting in a uh, hero point to make that a 22 because I have one hero point left. All right, that'll hit. And and maybe maybe we can, I can take him down in just a couple shots. Yeah, so uh, I'll give you a little bit of a bonus for this one. So he will take, uh, he's shooting at the bomb, right? Mm -hmm. the hero point. Yeah, so he will take two hits on this one. He is, he only failed by four, but that'll bump his toughness down to just six. You see he is swaying, his own bomb exploding in his hands. Uh, he's dazed as well. Uh, he, he is definitely struggling a bit. Okay, and now I'm incapacitated. I'm out of the fight. Good luck, me, animator. <laughs> it's time. Little did you know I was truly playing the healer. <laughs> <laughs> like, how many games in? Oh, wait, I got like 15 ranks in healing. <laughs> and you see General Justice <laughs> continues to fly ahead. Uh, Mr. Blair, you see him on his phone as well. Like, you see he's flying talking on his phone anybody have a hero point left because that is texting and driving that's not safe he should crash <laughs> no, no. <laughs> to what, like a flock of geese <laughs> yes yes they hit him right that, in the engine i just imagine that phone sounds just oh it just sounds like terrible. a wind tunnel yeah <laughs> Whoever he's talking to hears more like than I actually think he's saying. Dang, if we had the hero point, that would have been comical. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Reanimator, you are up. Bomber Bill is the only one that's left, and he's swaying on his feet. What are you about to do? Knock down that pin. He's going to go up into the Reanimator mobile because that's that's still around. <laughs> it's been yeah. He well. busts through a warehouse and. Uh, and he looks at the guy. Mm, that laser. 
death laser. And he won't charge it up. He'll just let it blast uh, the, th- the electrotherapy cannon. Alright. <laughs> 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 That's... Re- did it roll 16? No, six, what? No, no it rolled I think that's one. a natural one. It's a nat one, but heck, I saw like a six. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. yeah. I think that says it's under, he it rolled under 16. Oh, yeah. I have a crit. Yeah. I have crit range. Oh, no, that's what I was saying. 16 okay. or more, it would have been crit. But yeah. It's still a crit, but the bad kind. So I imagine he decides, you know, and uh, what's the worst that could happen not warming it up? Presses the button. <laughs> it, you see, Bob or Billy looks at his Bob, looks at the reanimator, looks at his Bob, and he just kind of nods along, like, Yeah, I did that. He'll say anything. <laughs> he nods along, like, He is responsible for that explosion. You did that? I did that. <laughs> Uh, if I were to roll against uh, toughness for wounds uh, against the therapy cannon, could I get a hero point with that that one? So what are you doing? Uh, if I go to roll toughness against the damage of the electrotherapy cannon, uh, with that oh, uh, with the reanimator taking the, the damage from that reanimator, yeah, yeah, so it's pretty nasty, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is a rank of 20. <laughs> All right, yeah, if you want to take that damage, I don't think Reanimator has that much toughness, so we'll give you a hero point if you want to take it. Mr. Blur leaves the battlefield, and one of them <laughs> points to the point of exhaustion, and the other one presses a button and kills himself. Hey, if I'm not dead, funny enough, I could do extra effort. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I think that's instant death. <laughs> This, I don't know, uh, this, that's failed by three. I think that's incapacitation. Not, no, no, that's not sure. failed by three. That's not failed by three. It's a DC 35. Oh. He did. Yeah, so reanimator. How I the that... cannon fires. Just like, ah, oh, it won't be all that bad. Doesn't fire. He goes out to check on it. Huh. Blows up and then blasts him. <laughs> he'll be ba- he'll be back, but for now he's he's fucking dead. And you see Bob and Billy look at his Bob. It's just like you can't see him smile, but you can tell he's smiling as he looks at his Bob. It is sure as hell he did that. So <laughs> Axel's incapacitated. <laughs> the reanimator killed himself. <laughs> he'll be back, but. Yeah. Mr. Blur is chasing <laughs> General Justice. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm so proud of us. I love this so much. Uh, so we're gonna. What's a good rule for that? Uh, do you have uh your super speed in a roll? Uh, it's I've got ten ranks in it. I don't All right. Know. Let's roll a d20 a piece. We both have 10 ranks in our speed. Let's see how... Who gets the city square first? <laughs> it's a time! <laughs> they both arrive at the same time into the city center. You see the mayor out on his cell phone, uh, and he looks up really confused as he sees you blur into focus and uh, the uh, general justice touchdown from the sky. And he goes, you blew up his warehouse? Uh, Looking at Mr. Blur. (laughs) His warehouse was filled to the rim with bottles and bottles of expensive alcohol. I like, you you see General Justice go, I'm a true-blooded American. I like my good bourbon. Yeah. Will you tell the truth to save some of your good bourbon? He'll grab one of the bottles and smash it on the ground. He'll hold up the two bottles menacingly. <laughs> Make it a, a persuasion, intimidation, your choice. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that was the better of the two. At what point? 
point did we start rolling nothing but one? <laughs> Halfway through this fight. <laughs> you, you see him look go. You see, Mr. Mayor, they are a menace. I, I used to say, everybody, they're, we're all heroes. They're not heroes. Not heroes at all. I think they're in the league with the uh, the uh, uh, belligerent ballistic bomber squad. You, if you look at the warehouse, there's two of their men hanging out with those bombers. You know, it's not even wrong. The began may try to cut the deal with them. <laughs> right. He did, but so Mister Blur is going to look at him, look at the bottles, smash. Just there's one left. Mister Mayor, Mister Mayor, call, call call the police. Call the other heroes. T- tell him he can't smash my the bottle. He's gonna like like kind of like 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> and like grab it. <laughs> Tell the truth, or this joins the others. All right. Uh, he's this, counting that... on he's counting on him loving this alcohol. Yeah, Otherwise, he, this is gonna be really stupid. He does <laughs> real fast. What is the man? I imagine the man just is tired. He's just tired. Oh no! Yeah, this, the mayor like. Is bewildered, like he is exhausted and confused. And he, he's like he's rubbing his eyes, like he's sleep deprived as hell. <laughs> you see, like he's like like three deep breaths. He doesn't say anything. He's like one, two, count to ten, count. To... Okay, uh, this... all right. Mr. Persuasion Brown. or intimidation check. Uh, advantages of this is a system, but I'll give you advantage on it. <laughs> Gotta beat at least the 15. Goodness, right? The, <laughs> to add to it, Mr. Blur's gonna crack open the bottle and just spill a little bit out. But all right, so. All right. There you go. All right. <laughs> Uh, no, no, hey, no, no, I, I'm just, no, just, uh, Belligerent Billy, yeah, get, just give me, give me a goddamn layer. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Uh, 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 uh General Justice, but still give me my goddamn liquor. <laughs> For belligerent Billy, say it. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, I, I, I bet it. Just, okay, yeah. This happy Van Winkle, do you know how hard it is to get that? Do you know how hard it is to get that? I don't care. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> He's like, I had to do a lot of illegal shit to get that. <laughs> I bet he had to go all the way to the temples of Syrinx. Gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just... Boy. <laughs> Man's got that reach. <laughs> um, so he's going he's gonna to spill out just a teensy bit more. How much illegal stuff? <laughs> Like, just drink it. Don't pour it. Just, just drink it if you need to. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's actually just two kids arguing against each other. No, he's the villain. No, he he is he's the villain. <laughs> what? When did where did the time go? When did this all change? <laughs> you see the bear like just still holding his face like. I'm never gonna get reelected with this shit. All right, uh, <laughs> Blur, give him the liquor. Co- uh, call the cops. We're gonna arrest him. Uh, everybody, just go home. Like, just, like, just put the fire out. You guys, put the fire out. You started a fire. At somebody, somebody started a fire. Put the fire out. We'll put him in jail. He can drink his booze. And everybody goes home. And say something nice about me when the press comes. Gladly. Mr. Blur will take a small swig of the bottle, make a face like, and just drop it. (laughs) Oh. You see, like, his It doesn't smash. It doesn't smash. Oh, smash? It doesn't smash. That's what you were getting all mad about? He drops, grabs the bottle, and starts chugging. Even as the, the police begin, come up and start to put him in handcuffs. Uh, running back, you find the reanimator at Axel in a smoldering building. Uh, without the rest of the 
uh, belligerent ballistic bomber squad. Uh, <laughs> Would the reanimate the half reanimate the bite now? How long? Uh, so, probably not yet. Uh, but you start you start to see like re- some parts oh, of his flesh of starts to kind of twitching and flesh growing upon it. Uh, but you're able to pull them both out of the fire and make sure they're okay. Okay. And like reanimator hasn't showered since like Eisenhower was president, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That and the uh, acrid stench of burning flesh. Ugh, he's wishing he has. And don't forget in. burning rubber because oh. I'm a robot. Oh yes, and the uh, lots of variety uh, there. Uh, yummy. <laughs> So he uh, piles them into the reanimator mobile. Is that still functioning? Even like, is that still? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's still it's still up and alive. So he only th- the gun exploded. The rest of it's fine. All right. So he throws them in there. Uh, tries to figure out how to drive a car because he's never had to drive one before. <laughs> and uh, inside is like a Rube Goldberg machine, so it's even more difficult. <laughs> so, do I, so do I squeeze the duck to turn it on, or is it the basketball? <laughs> uh hank oh okay cool and uh you try you putt putts away in running into lots of things on the way home after oh yeah and he kind of just goes back to the scene of the fire spins around it a bunch makes a tornado makes it go out and say ah, that was easy gets back in drives him home is there anything you want to, i'll hand you the hero point the <laughs> anime <Is that> <laughs> you want to spend that on I mean, as uh, as he's driving everybody home, he uh, he you know he squeezes the the squirrel plushie to turn on the radio, or however your radio works. I'm just making assumptions, <laughs> uh, and he hears people talking about the recent arrest and uh, of General Justice. Boy, he had a stupid name anyway. <laughs> And he smiles to himself, content, knowing he's not that bad of a guy. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Well, you guys, you make it out alive. You see General Justice is brought into custody. Uh, and re- eventually the reanimator reanimates. And Axel comes back to consciousness. But away from you guys, you do fi- won't even notice this. But there's a secret meeting of villains. You see, I uh, kind of camera pads, and you see a couple of different people that have escaped the heroes a couple of different times, or well, some of them a couple of different times, and others just uh, a time or two. You see Bomber Billy hanging out, just still in his Bomberman costume, bombs on each hand, sitting at a table really awkwardly. Uh, you see Sleepy Susie, who got away from Axel uh, during the Psycho Psych Squad. Oh, like, okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Let's not remember what Axel did to her. She can't fly, and he dropped her from the sky. <laughs> to be fair, she probably fell asleep on the way down, so she was limp when she hit, so she was probably okay. Yeah. That's where my head's at. <laughs> she, she survived. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, right. Created a psychic construct of a giant pillow. <laughs> And you see in the center of the two, a guy in racing gear uh, with Mr. Pulse chain. I was wondering that Mr. Pulse, the Pulse chain uh, around no. his neck. <laughs> and he goes, we can't let this stand. Those jackasses are running the city and messing everybody's business up. We got a band together. <laughs> the polls. Oh, I wish Sir Steve was here now. <laughs> and that's where we'll wrap up our adventure. Uh, viewers, thank you guys for hanging out with that one. That's one of my favorite ones for the month. It's just shenanigans and, and randomness, and I enjoy it. So I hope you all did as well. Uh, come back tomorrow for our Against the Horde. Uh, and see how we do all that side. And then for sure, even if you can't make against the horde, which I'm super excited for, but come through for Todd's uh, extra uh, extra life charity thing that's for a really good cause. Uh, and donate if you're able to or have the money, but if you can't watch and see some really good TTRPGs. Um, I'll be playing at two with Mouse Ritter, 
Star Wars 5e, which is my usual game. Uh, we're playing at eight. Uh, I'm not playing in that one. Wanted to mix it up a little bit, but uh, we've got yeah, Fopchen from our channel who's on Invasion. He'll be on that one. Uh, anybody else from my channel on that one? I don't think anybody else from my channel is on that one. Uh, but hang out. It's still be a good time and have some fun there. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow, definitely Saturday, and then come back uh, next week for Star Wars Tuesday. Uh, but thanks for hanging out with us, guys, and I hope you all have a good night. Uh, none of my friends are online, so yeah, no, we're not doing any invasions today. So see you guys later.